you wouldn't you wouldn't imagine by the fucking random ass kids that are jumping around my neighborhood right now. Mm. But anyway, snatch them um, up, teach them a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them in your basement for a minute, though. They'll learn. They'll learn. That that's <laughs> nah, don't bro, you tripping. <laughs> Guys, thank you for tuning into this episode of the podcast. Remember, if you enjoy our content, have your friends and family rate, review, subscribe to the podcast on your favorite app, specifically Apple. Give us a nice little rating and a review. And if your review is on point, we will put that on a shirt and send it to you. So please. Make sure your reviews go in. Also, if you watch us on YouTube, hit that little like button because that helps out a lot. And make sure that you are subscribed to the podcast. Have your friends and family uh, subscribe to it as well. If you want to uh, to cop some merch and rep us out in the streets like a real fan would, OG. go to insensitivemerch.com and stay drippy with drippy. Other than that, we're ready. And here we go. You want to be like? Sensitivity equals fucking poverty. Insensitive culture, the podcast. Check it out, homie. Everyone, welcome to episode 110 of Insensitive Culture. As always, you know me. So what? You know my guy over here. And that full blazer, Ramon. And finally, on the other end is... We will forever be... Insensitive Culture, the podcast. Make sure you check it out, homie. Make sure you check it out, homie. You know how we do. Oh, shit. Rejoice. Rejoice, people. Rejoice. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, man? Shit. Johnny, what the hell is up, bro? We miss you, man. What is up, my fellas? How y'all doing? I missed y'all too. Man, Jeez. how we doing? You feeling relaxed over there? Looking Finally. tanner than usual. I know. No, I think it's the saturation on the camera. Mm, no, it's definitely so. the, the, <laughs> golden, so. the golden the golden sun blessed mm, me. Yeah. No, I had a great, <laughs> great, great time down in the Central American country of Costa Rica. Great Costa people. Rica. Pura vida. That's their that's their like country slogan pura vida mm. which means pure life um thank you the for there, that translation i needed that absolutely yeah <laughs> <clears throat> for for our non-spanish for speaking <laughs> co-host yeah an audience and audience um but no nah, it's uh it was fun it was fun as hell um it was very relaxing it was just four of us and um it was supposed to be six of us, but that's a long story about two people that just mm. literally couldn't make it on the last day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, unfortunate. unfortunately for me, or maybe fortunately, but kind of still unfortunately, because it did kill my lungs, I ended up smoking twice the amount of bud mm. that I wanted to. Um, that's quite the predicament and, uh, you were in. I really felt like I was, I felt like your brother, Papo, <laughs> like I was smoking a blunt, like, Every other hour, I was like, "Yeah, this is, this is OD." Like, he does I don't, that. He does that just because like he wants this. to, bro. <laughs> and at least when he shows up and I'm chilling with him, and he's and he's like, "Yo, let's smoke, yo, let's smoke." Um, at least I'm smoking with somebody, right? So I can right, pass right, the right. L to. I'm the only person in Costa Rica in this house that smokes, so it's like, yeah, I'm just burning to the face, and it, I must have left so many giant freaking. <laughs> Roaches. The housekeeping staff was like, "Yo, yeah. this room is getting it was, me it was, lit." It was sad. It was sad, but um, yeah. But no, other than that, hustling? I should have. I should have like, just like went down to the beach and been like, "Yo, I have a word. fucking half here for thirty bucks or whatever the currency is they use." Fuck that! I'd rather Hold just. On, I would have gave it away. Honestly, yeah, that's what I'm that's, saying. That's I would have just <laughs> gave it away instead I of tossing it. I really I know you. I know you had to toss some. You were very heartbroken about that. How much was it? A quarter. It was about a, maybe a quarter, maybe a little over a quarter. I ended up getting rid of down the just garbage down the toilet. Nah, oh, we I flushed, flushed it. it. Oh, like a mad parent fighting yeah. their parents. <laughs> and the worst right, part about this, practice. if you, you ever, practice. I've never, I don't think I've ever flushed weed down the toilet before. It doesn't always have, go down. It doesn't always so it, go down. Yeah, the they were flood. all nuts. <laughs> so that shit, I flush, yo, I'm holding the fucking flusher down, right? And this shit is flowing and flowing. And all these bitches yeah. are just sit, sitting floating at the yeah. top. I'm like, oh, God damn. Now I got to grab toilet paper, go inside of there, bundle it all up. Try to, <laughs> yeah, that was a pain in the ass. Yeah. <clears throat> 
You just gotta let that shit soak. <laughs> get, get heavy, <laughs> yeah. Like, get yeah right, heavy. right, right. Like a big <laughs> old poop in either there. way, man. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, either way. <laughs> like a big old poop sucks in there. <laughs> and then I ended up bringing back just a little bit. Like I, I brought like just a little bud. And I was just like, hey, yeah. I'm not gonna get in trouble for this, right? Uh-oh. And I got through just fine, and it made me feel like fuck. I should have brought the whole that shit. Bud. I probably could have. I didn't probably. get stopped. It's or not worth. It's not worth the. It's not worth the hassle if you did get caught with it, though. Like that's yeah. not. <laughs> just you're right 100 percent. you're it Yo, would have it would have fucking sucked for sure. random random question since you since you you brought it up have you ever had to like whether it was your own or somebody else's have you ever like either left the log or <laughs> walked up to one that just would not flush i thought this was going to be a weed question no no <laughs> that was a log question uh, actually public- yeah, not at a public, not at a public, because like if I if I even like walk oh, into a public even stall, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm walking out. I'm finding I'm a different out. stall. Like I'm not fucking around trying to flush some Bro. shit. But like at my cousin's house, I remember like <laughs> his <laughs> his grandpa, his grandpa, bro, oh, fucking grandpa shit. His even grandpa, worse. his grandpa came out of the bathroom, and there was a log in the toilet that literally it looked like a Pringles can. <laughs> like it was just yeah. fat and like no matter how many times you flushed not it prunes. would not go down like it wouldn't go anywhere yeah. it was just stuck there it like the water would go around it like it's like it the clung, leaning tower it clung, of shiza it clung to the yeah, it, it, there was no getting rid of it i'm pretty sure the adults had to like break it up with a plunger or something bro, to get it to go down bro mm. my five-year-old uh-oh oh because i because it I was have sticky to, oh. it was like a tar poop wasn't bro it? no because i because mm. you know obviously like i have to help him out still. yeah he's still at sure. that age he came in, bro. That thing would not move. The water would not move it, and it was just standing straight. Up. <laughs> this is like the <laughs> Titanic. Like, it was about yeah. to fucking bobbing. Yo, it was just no. It wasn't even <laughs> wasn't bobbing, it, bro. What is the it stuck was, to? How is it up? It, it was, defies it physics. Was stuck, I don't understand. It was stuck against the back of the toilet bowl oh, and then in the hole. Yeah. Uh, but it was so large that it was long... just. Yeah, it was it, it was just straight though. It was just straight up, like the bitch was wet. We call that a cobra. Did it yeah. have a little hood on it? Because that's not it was good, just bro. A straight up. Yo, I was like, bro, what the fuck? I was like, bro, I feel so sorry. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Like that you had to let that thing out. So what did you do? How did you, you get rid of it? I mean, it's like, did bro. you hear screaming coming bro, from the like, bathroom? Like, that was like up to his like neck. Like yeah. right. his little ass It's been body. days. It's been days <laughs> since bro. he went. So yeah, so so then you know, I mean, he's your son, so you gotta take care. Of, of course, you flush it like two to three times, hoping that yep. it will start just to please, move. You're praying, right. you're like please, <laughs> just go down. I don't, want please, to, just, I don't want to do nothing with like, that shit. <laughs> you're gonna have to chop it. Yeah, I forgot exactly what it was, but yeah, you have to chop it. You have to like break it. <laughs> you have to like cut <laughs> it, break it down, and then flush, and then hope like it, it has to go. Anybody down. got a plastic so, knife? Nice. <laughs> yeah. a plastic knife here. <laughs> you're, you're cutting nice, it like a nice fucking little T-bone. side tangent. But I was just, I was, in, I was like, yo, bro, it's impressive. Like, yeah, and and um, I think his because uh, this happened with my son often because he just, I don't know. I think it's because uh, he was drinking a lot of milk at the time or mm, something, and not dairy. Shit. Yeah. Okay. My so cheese. my uh his his grandfather my my father in law would I guess he he witnessed the same thing he was like well no no wonder he like runs away when he has to poop like yeah. I would I would be afraid <laughs> of having like, to let that again. thing out of my adult body let alone <laughs> being five oh man <laughs> right kid might need uh, stitches man. yeah um feel so bad for him after Poor I saw guy. that Poor sorry guy. sorry oh, little man. guy giving him some stool softener yeah. or something. Buddy, if you listen to this when you're but, older, I'm so sorry for sharing your uh, <laughs> what if he's listening unfortunate now? Unfortunate adventures. He let you put him to bed, and he throws on the podcast, <laughs> and he's listening to it, and he calls you out like next week. He would tell me about it. Trust me. <laughs> um, all right, Dave. What uh, what questions do we have for this week? All right, all right. We didn't even get to questions. <laughs> no, we <laughs> we went off on Mad. We're just so happy to have Johnny back. I know, We're just so great. gleefully talking over. Okay. Would you rather have a chick with a great ass but sideburns or a chick with great tits but a like a wispy mustache? Ooh. Probably catch some slack. So you're talking about both of them are Puerto Rican? <laughs> or no, Italian. Oh, yeah. Italian, Middle Italian Eastern. Too. There's yeah, a bunch true, of different yeah, true, <laughs> ethnicities true, they could be to be super hairy. 
Um, you said sideburns and and an ass yeah. or great ass, but sideburns, tits and a mustache, great tits and a mustache. First of all, either way, I'm every girl that I know that actually has that problem waxes that shit. And yeah, th- that shit goes away. But if I had to choose one, it would be the fat ass and the, and the you know a little bit of a sideburn, a little bit of a sideburn. Yeah, yeah. I like a little sideburn, honestly, a little Elvis, late yeah, Elvis. Because you're Italian, exactly. Yeah. All those Italian chicks, they have both of them, honestly. So like, there's no. <laughs> if I could just have one, I'm winning already. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna go, go. I'll go because I'm gonna go booty regardless. I, yeah, I'm all, like, I always it, go there's big no, ass, man. I always go big. There's ass. no tits that could pull me away from that big booty where I'm just like, mm, man, I, I, I do I like, I do it, like big tits. No, big I, tits are great, but not at the cost of a fat booty. Right. Like, it has to be like right. an either. It has to be either a mm. nice balance. But if one or the other is gonna be in abundance, it has to be. Gotta a go booty, ass, booty yeah. heavy, yep. booty heavy, booty heavy. Okay. <laughs> he's rusty fellas he's, he's rusty, rusty yeah. man you know, you know i go opposite <laughs> yeah. um go tits nah, with a mustache. He, he, he just doesn't want to say i want a mustache <laughs> <laughs> nah it's just that um i've i've met and known some ladies over the years with some heavy sideburns mm. and oh, yeah. the thing is is that like you can't wax that edge that up you know like you can't really fix that up so you gotta be very comfortable (laughs) with with that facial hair (laughs) whereas the mustache like you said like you could totally wax that out and i'm with you guys in that i'm totally a booty guy Yeah. Not a not a titty guy, but <laughs> I might. I mean, if those are my only two choices, <laughs> I think I might have to go big tits with the with the wisp and, <laughs> yeah, and just I mean. you know <laughs> and encourage her to to wax that shit. Now you know? now see now Johnny's making me feel like <laughs> you're not swaying me. No I'm no not, you're not, not swaying not, me. Be swayed. <laughs> you're not swaying me. However, Johnny's making me feel like these are like Wolverine mutton chops mm. now. <laughs> right so right right. And, and that's what I'm saying is <laughs> I've seen right. some some um her 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 yeah, uh, yeah. On, the, on, on, the, on the sideburns, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> some burns, you know what I mean? Some, some burns, real, yeah. That's, that's straight up. Some that's real up. Elvis chops. Uh, yeah, I've, seen, I've seen chicks with like Shaven, mag, she Magnum she has a 5 o'clock shadow. Magnum oh. <laughs> P.I. mustaches, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. But that, I, I feel like that's a little more doable. I don't know what you could do on the side. I guess you could like edge out and wax that but i've never really seen that done like usually get it like, lasered yeah that's you probably laser it. Ele- that's electrolysis it. yep 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 i'll pay for it and everything <laughs> you just bring that fat ass back home when you're done that's Facts. awesome bro like um glasses are fogged not but i mean not, if her if her chops are it, it don't matter if her chops are that thick or her she got mustache, that yeah if her mustache that fat you psh, probably got a hairy ass too Oh, for sure. Bro. At least like the <laughs> like the tramp stamp area, you know so, there's a little yeah, patch there. Yeah, she got a little sure. patch just like you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, no lie, bro. No lie, right? Uh so uh recently, I don't know, I don't know, I can't exactly I can't remember exactly how long, but I know it was recent. I was going through like I was looking at like cam girls and shit on the porn. Ah, okay. 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 I was wondering right. where you were going with this. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Yeah, I was looking at these cam girls and shit and um and I, I saw one that was going to town and then when when you click it, because you know it's always like a preview, and then you click it and then it goes in and then you get to see it. this girl was going to town and I could not look away, bro. Her her legs and her bush were like extra, like yo, like <laughs> never like she hasn't uh, like if she if she ever shaved it it would have to be like just her legs had to be attacked with a fucking weed whacker and i was like i've never seen this in my fucking life that i was just like i was appalled by it but also i couldn't i couldn't like Look Still away from it because it's like a train wreck. Like, mm. no i wasn't turned on by it for, <laughs> was it? by any means but i'm like i was just like trying to fathom this like some, like chicks just don't, some chicks just don't care. 
They're sticking no, it to the like wispy I mean, or nah, it was, it was bushy. Nah, it was like it was it looked it was like, like French. My legs, bro. <laughs> was it like was it like my arm? No, her hair. arm was like your arm. <laughs> arm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, oh nice. man. Nice. And I was just like, I was just staring, you know, you fucking train wreck. Like you're just, you're just seeing this because you're observing it now. Right. And right. you're there. <laughs> uh, but it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen, bro. Uh, and cause that's just not what I'm into. And I didn't think that it would be at that extent, there's but always, no, it's there. Yeah. Always. There's you always have to, something you have to link that to the group chat later. I'm curious. <laughs> what that, what that like. I wouldn't even be I able to. I know it's in your history. I know. It's I wouldn't even be, it's I wouldn't there. even what be able day to. Was it? All right. It was horrible. Next one, guys. We ready? Yeah. Should you lock your dog out of the room when you're having sex? Yes. Nah. Is it a big deal? No. Well, it depends I mean, on you, the size I was gonna of say, your dog. You, you, mm-hmm. have, you have a tiny little chica. Can chica just yeah. jump onto anything that she wants? Because Cliff could jump over me if he needed to. Like, what do you mean by like jump your bed? Like, can can, can can oh can, yeah, she can chica just jump bed. on your bed? She's I mean, your bed's low enough. Because usually I'm the bed anyway. Wait, while you're doing it? Yeah, she don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's like a threesome, bro. That technically, that qualifies. Like in the books, like on God, that's yeah. a threesome. <laughs> Word. She starts licking your leg while you're mid Yo, Does she ever fuck nah, around? No, no, no. Does she, she ever fuck around? <laughs> no, nah, hell no. Does she look at you though? Like you look over she, and she's yeah, judging you? Occasionally she's like, she will come up and will like, she's like judge you. She's like looking your that. eyes and shit. And you got to look at her and be like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and then she takes off. Yeah. She's like, that's um, what you brought today? Yep. Okay. But usually was, it's just like, was, I can't believe y'all motherfuckers are doing this shit again. <laughs> y'all dirty motherfuckers. Dirty I'm, motherfuckers. I need to Stop go it. for a walk right now. And y'all I, thought, fucking I, thought, I thought Johnny was going to be like, hey, yeah, one time I was going full frog. She gave me a rim job and I was... And I wasn't opposed. <laughs> nah, definitely not. Nah. I would have kicked the shit out of that bitch. <laughs> after he finished. After that. he finished. <laughs> like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Don't ever do that again. Until next Friday. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, I agree with that. I mean, at this point, honestly, like, I have kids, bro. Like, it's, it's impossible I was going to say, you have to worry about the dog and the kids. Like, you have to specifically <laughs> time your shit. So, like, we got And then our daughter our daughter minutes. is just so glued to her mom. You yeah. know, Xander's already, like, he's already sleeping in his own bed. And, you know, and it's he, he still comes into the room um, more often than not. But it's not until, like like random hours of the night, like four or five o'clock in the morning that he wakes up and, and then, and then he, yeah. And then you're he, he sleeping. jumps in the bed and it's just like, all right, bro. Has he ever so, caught you? Y'all ever been walked in on by the kids or the dog? No, not, not, not in that sense. Um, it was always, it's always like, uh, we're thinking about it. Like the, <laughs> literally like a week ago, it was like a week or two ago. Um, I was like, yo, like you, th- you think we're good? And literally in that second, she, she goes, nope, absolutely not. And she, like, I follow her eyes and then, <laughs> and then right over to the door, just walked in uh, and just jumped in the bed. I'm like, oh, this little fucker. All fucking right. Fucking hater. Whatever. Yo. Oh, man. What a Whatever, hater. man. I know it, it happens. It happens though. And then if it's not him, it's, it's his sister, man. And she just like starts screaming. So. Oh, it's yeah, done at that point. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no, you can't as far as a dog, like. Child. Honestly, Charlie, at this point, I, I'm the one who made the rule. She can't be in the bed. So, <laughs> she can't be in the, no, no, she no can't, Charlie in the bed at all? No Charlie in the bed, no. Oh, okay. Charlie, Charlie has, Charlie's she little. Has, Charlie's so she's little. little. She's little. She's um, little. She's much bigger now that, you know, she's much bigger now than what you guys remember because she was tiny when she when was. I, yeah. Uh, but but now she has, she has a couple beds. She'll sleep with Xander because she can actually jump in his bed. She prefers to sleep with someone. But I'm just like, yo, we have kids in the fucking bed. I don't want to add the fucking yeah, no, dog. That's true. That's and then true. you add the dog to it. And then when you don't let the dog up, she's like crying at the foot of the bed. So mm, I've never right. let her 
Smart. I've never let her come onto the bed. So she doesn't cry at the foot of the bed. She's just like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to find my spot, <laughs> you know? And she'll go to one of two beds because she has she has a bed next to Xander's bed. She could sleep in Xander's bed or she has a bed next to our bed. So she has she has two beds next to our bed. So it's like, <laughs> Damn. word, she has mad places to fucking mad sleep. Beds. I'm like, no, and the bed is not. Is not where she's gonna sleep at all. We're not. We're not gonna be those people that fucking buy little stairs so that she can climb up. <laughs> I see those little. It's not stairs happening. It's not happening. Like me, I bought those stairs. <laughs> it's like I got those. Little I mean, stairs. eventually, like when the kids aren't. It didn't like, work though. It's it fine. No. Nah. <laughs> she didn't use it. She still. She still wants you to pick her up. It, it just. Uh, yeah, basically. Uh, <laughs> she tried it a couple of times. I think maybe the stairs were a little too narrow or something. Uh, um, so she tried it a couple of times. She would go up. She never once went down, mm. but there was one time I think that I set it up cause it's like, a, um, it's the back of the stairs are like folding. Uh, yeah, yeah. and so, so you could like hide it under the bed or whatever. And so I think one of the times I didn't like lock it into place. Mm. So she like ran up the stairs and the stairs collapsed on her. Oh, yeah. She, 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 wasn't about it. she still she made wasn't it onto the it. bed, but she was like, I am never using them shits again. Yeah. And, yep. and That's yeah, fair. so that was a waste of Purchase. Dogs yeah, that was like that a shit. COVID purchase, I think, though. That's all fair. right. That's what's, fair. what's the next one? All right. Last one. You stay over at someone's house. You wake up and realize you pissed the bed. <laughs> do you tell them or do you just bounce? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Johnny's laughing like he pissed in someone's bed. Oh, that's a no, tough I'm one. Depends on who it is. Imagine that scenario. <laughs> it depends on who it is, man. If you pissed in my bed. If I pissed in your bed or if it was like Johnny's bed uh, w- where we stood over at his house, mm-hmm. then I'd be like, mm-hmm. yo, bro, I don't know what the fuck. But I would tell y'all because <laughs> I mean, y'all my boys. You have to, right? Yeah, at that yeah, point, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're going to see like, us again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, like I stood over. That bed I you were in, over, dog, you pissed in it. What's up? Why are you playing me like that? I sit over at people's houses just from like a drunk night who, you know, but it's not like your, your boy, like, you they know what I mean? You crashed like, there because they didn't want you, you just, to get you, killed out in the street somewhere. You crashed driving there. Home. Yeah. Exactly. Like you couldn't find a ride home. Everybody just kind of like dead. You found their own way home. You don't know how you're going to get home. They're like, yo, crash over here. Cool. I know you enough to where I'm going to crash at your house but I don't really know you like that. If I wake up, no one else is awake. And, and knowing me, like, even if it's like my boy, boy, unless I'm planning on staying at your house, if I wake up you're at your dipping. house, I'm dipping ASAP. As soon as you're like, sober enough. Yeah, you're like, as soon oh, as I'm, I'm so, Yeah, I'm, I'm gone. I'm yeah. gone. So if it was in that situation, yeah, I might, I might, I might just get up and book, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like in that case, though, like someone, like a stranger, someone who barely knows you, was cool enough to let you stay in their crib. They were worried about you. They didn't want you to go I'm out and get fucked up. I'm not waking anybody up to tell Maybe them, Maybe just Yo. leave a note. Be like, hey, walk pissed here. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then that's it. And you just dip after that. And they're like, oh, you know what? Man. He did piss here, but he was honest about it. So now I got to clean. Uh, another good question. Do they have a pet? They don't. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot, a, you has, cannot yeah. blame it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm yeah, I, it depends on the person, man, cuz if it's if, if they're not that close to me, I'm dipping. And if and and if uh and if they come up to me at some other point in time and they be like, "Yo, yo, is this uh, Did you piss here? Plead the physio." <laughs> So you you come clean. Like if you did piss when we were at Johnny's last time, if you pissed and you didn't say anything and then he called you out, he's like, "Yo, did you piss on my shit? It's when Johnny you were here? though. It's Johnny though. You're like, yeah, I did. I did piss it's in Johnny your shit. I'm so sorry. But I'm not. I'm not. Shit. I'm not getting up at like six, seven in the morning. Right. Nobody else <laughs> waking is him up. up. He's like sleeping, and you're and like, I'm just like Yo. pushing his shoulder. <clears throat> you're like Johnny, I Yo, peed in your bed. Um, I'm so sorry. I just want to let you know. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I pissed on your couch. My bad, but. Yo, you be easy though. <laughs> UBs. No, nah, when, when we were at Johnny's, he had he had to catch that early ass flight. I would have waited till he was like out the door with the ship, like, oh sorry, I pissed in nah, your bed. No, have see, a good see, flight. See, that would have been dried. That would have dried by the time that he came dried. home. No. That's true. <laughs> That's fine. That's but then true. there would be a pee spot, bro. When they go to change those sheets and nah. shit, you're clearly gonna see a pee spot on that bed. It's Johnny's house. I would have threw that shit in the washing be machine. Be like, yo, Dave was here. <laughs> but nah, Chica, Chica pissed actually on the floor. Nah, so, I would have like, threw that shit in the washing machine. I could have easily blamed it on Chica. 
weekend and been like, yo, she got up in the bed with me and she just got crazy. I don't know. Yeah. I could have played it off. Or I would have been like, yo, she got peed on the floor. Or maybe I peed on Johnny's floor and blamed it on Chica. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> My man came in there and dapped it up too. So I was like, good looks, Johnny. Good luck. I'm so sorry. I was right. <laughs> it's like Danny's yelling at Chica the whole time. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-mm, no, Chica. <laughs> you don't do you that. You don't bad, Chica. That's why Chica hates me. She knows. She's like, this motherfucker lying on me. I can't do shit. Oh, uh, now we know the truth, Johnny. You now pissed on I your know. floor, bro. Now you pissed I on know. your floor, bro. That fucking stain is a Dave stain. <laughs> Test it for THC. I promise you'll find so much. <laughs> uh, if, am I the only one who answered that? <laughs> what was yeah. the question? I forgot the question. <laughs> if you pissed at somebody's oh, house, no, no, I, I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them 100% Unless, of the time. If it's somebody, if it's literally a person, if it's not a hotel or a motel or <laughs> someplace where it's like a, you know, an establishment and I paid, yeah. I'm not telling them shit. But like, if it's, it's an actual person's residence, I feel obligated. I, if it I would was feel you, like if dick. it was you, would you be more upset by them not telling you or them leaving you a note and leaving anyway? I say not telling. Really? Because at least the yeah. notes consider it. I know okay. enough. Like, all right, I gotta, I gotta clean this up because this is gonna get gross. Like, it just for respect of my property, I feel like that would be them. You know, leaving a note saying, "Hey." Clean but are this you up. Li- literally like it, when you leave? Like, you're not even trying to clean it up either. You just like I would get some it? paper towel. <laughs> yeah, like at least throw just, a little yeah, damp something. on that or something. Throw. A, I mean, I you mean, know, I'd be a little try. upset if you fuck up the bath towels with that shit. But. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, nah. That's a, that's a paper towel job. Yeah. Word for sure. Like, like if they if they if if they inspect that shit like um they they'll find mad paper towel in the fucking trash can. Mm-hmm. I would or, dab it. Up. I would try to just yeah 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 yeah. Sit down. I, <laughs> would, I would try to dab it, something. but it's not depending on the person. I, I probably wouldn't. Like you might need a new mattress. I just feel like if I dip, even if I left a note or send them a text, yeah. I still feel like no matter what, like in your scenario. <laughs> it's a person that is not my boy, but he knows my boys. Right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. He knows that's you. just going to get out. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna, he's going to be <laughs> like, yo, you never believe this n- what was at my house? <laughs> he yeah, pissed on my shit. It has to be like a total pissed on my bed true. and then a total left. rager. And that's why I tell you, man, I plead, I plead the physic. It man. has to be a crazy, a crazy party where you don't know who was where. Like it has Word. to be one of those. That's, like yeah, just a those. rager. Word. Yeah. And I would never throw one of those. Those a big my house, ass house so party or some yeah. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I plead the physic. That could have been anyone. Right. Exactly. I plead the physic. Fizz if. Nah. <laughs> Bro, I ain't never. I ain't. I ain't. <laughs> yeah. I ain't pissing myself when I was four or five years old, bro. I'm going to piss myself in my 30s. Fuck out of here. You're saying well, you never you pissed drunk. your pants? You <laughs> no, I know. But that, that would be my <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, bro, I ain't never pissing myself, bro. I'm going to piss on myself now. What you sound like, bro? Get fuck out of here. Stop spreading my rumors, bro. Pause real quick. <laughs> yeah. Shit. What's wrong with Fuck you? Fuck out of here. I don't know what you're wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So th- that that that's, was the end of the. That's all we got. Yeah. Johnny, you answered it, right? I sure did. All right. Cool. So then you know what time it is. You know what it's time for. News clips. A good old Johnny Quest news clip segment. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Let's talk about what happens since the last time I was on the show. Jeez, so much. That's a much. lot. There's a lot that's happened. So I can't recap everything. <laughs> Biden is president. So much has happened since the last time you were on, Johnny. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's so true. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a, I got a lot of things up here, but I don't want to eat too much of our segment and time. Uh, there's a couple of things that I have that are just follow-ups. But before I get to those follow-ups... I do want to make sure we shout out the GOAT. We already shouted her out on the IG. Yeah. But the GOAT, the, the, engagement, yeah, the engagement GOAT. goat. <laughs> yeah. Yo, for real. Oh, man. J-Lo done did it again. Twice with one man. Yeah. 
That's got crazy. Though. The like, Benifer re- is the thing re-kindling, again. Game, no. Rekindling like that. Like y'all, if y'all ever got back with an ex-girlfriend, like after you guys were broke up for a little bit, it feels weird. Nah, and it, I, I always hated it. Like it's she, a I couple have. times I've been there. Yeah. And it's not good. It feels different. Shit's fucked up. Like I, I, I'm curious how I've never done it. However, in their situation, I was thinking about it. Cause, cause both, he was still hung up on her and uh, P Diddy was still hung up on her, but it was the circumstances around it. Right. So I think that their relationship ended because people hated hearing about them and the whole Benefer and then their movie flop Geely and all that shit, you know, at yeah. that time. And both of them were at a point of their careers where it's like, make it or break it. And they realized like it m- mainly her, I think, she realized, yeah, like, yo, we, are, we are in this relationship, and this relationship is hurting me and my yeah. career, so I need to dump this relationship. Well, P. Diddy, same shit. It was the, the yeah, whole that shooting. Was killing her. Yep, yep. Yeah, it was the whole shooting, and she, he was, she was like, yo, I need to separate myself from this situation. And she did. So he, so even when, when A-Rod broke up, he put out a thing like, yo, like, yo, I want to... Like, What's up? Like, let's let, let's do mm-hmm. something. You know what I mean? But she wasn't trying to hear that. And, you know, he obviously, like, now the time is, like, people aren't feeling the same way. And that whole relationship rekindled. So the separation, uh, the reason of this for the separation, to me, wasn't uh, wasn't valid on, like, feelings and, like, how how shitty of either, you know, how shitty either person was to the other. I think they both sure. very much had really, you know, like had feelings for each other. They obviously. both went off Clearly, and got yeah. married to other people and had families. Right. Well, like, she, she got huge... married a couple of times. I think she got a couple to... times. No, she just, just, just once she was married to Mark and I don't think yeah, she had yeah. another, but she got yeah. engaged. I think maybe twice since then. Yeah. She, she had a one wedding and two engagements. Um, this dude, Ben had uh Jennifer Gardner, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And they got like two kids, so that dynamic got to be just way different. It's like yeah. a, almost a whole new relationship. It ain't the same yeah. as when they first got together. But and if you and if you married Jennifer Garner, and you had the chance to go back to J Lo, yeah, can't be mad at him for mm-hmm. that. <laughs> <laughs> can't be mad at that. Uh, I'm not a. Uh, uh, I'm not into Jennifer Garner. Like no, uh, Ben. Ben not. is clearly a booty and sideburns dude. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. No, nah, for yeah. sure. No, he good though. I mean, you know, whatever. He's he's smart. He's trying to lock it down once again. Um, yeah, yeah. and hopefully it goes through this time. He even chose a different color. He was like, We're not though? gonna we're not long? gonna go with the what? How long are we giving it? Uh 167 days. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go two forty three. Shit. Okay. Uh let's see. Actually, I think I think it might go a little longer than that. A couple years? Yeah, I think it'll go a couple years. I think it'll probably <laughs> go I'm going to I'm going to raise that up to a 2 year 2 year relationship. Okay. How long before they get married is probably going to be um Do they get married? Does it that's actually what I'm saying. Does I don't it know. Actually I don't know if they'll yes. go through with the marriage. Yeah? Do you think so? Okay. I think they're going to get married next month. They okay. old. That makes sense. They old. Yeah, they ain't got true. no they time. They don't got they time, got time no to wait. That's just and it's not like they got to plan and save up for anything. Like they just right, hire yeah, someone, like book some shit next week, tomorrow. and it's like a they could get married seven million dollar wedding and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, I get all right. It. Yeah, I mean they can only aspire to be like J- uh, Jada and Will. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on. Right. Uh, Speaking <laughs> of, we all should aspire. Speaking oh, of, um, actually, a uh, little update on that scenario. Um, well, one, uh, since our last uh, recording, or since y'all last recording, um, Will has been banned now from the uh, the Academy Awards show uh, for 10 years. 10 years. Um, years. And, uh, and, then, and Chris Rock was also quoted in his most recent show, as saying that he's not going to talk about the situation until he gets that fat bag yep. um, and, and, and which exclusive, I don't blame him. which I don't explain. I don't, I don't blame him either. You know what I mean? Like, right. No. Milk it. Milk it. You want it yeah. You Although want, it, you, you want me to talk about like it? It was planned <laughs> if you start doing shit like that. I honestly, I, honestly I don't think don't, so. Hell no. It can't I, be. I don't at think this it was point, planned. At this point, no. Nah. Nah. I don't think it was planned. 
But it's I think that Chris the fuck out of will. I think Chris Rock knows that it's you know it's just like he he wasn't gonna press charges. Obviously, all that stuff. He's just like, yo, I don't really want to talk about it, but if you're gonna force me to talk about it, pay up. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, yeah, and I don't blame him for that shit because he's gonna talk about it, but it's gonna be in a stand up. He's a comedian, right? He's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, he's going to charge for it either way. Word. And he's gonna charge top dollar for his his next uh, his next uh, 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 show. So. Um, but as far as that whole will thing, I think it is. I mean, obviously it's hurting his, his whole thing. I, I was, um, listening to a couple things and, and just kind of keeping my ear out to like different podcasts and how people talk about like the industry and everything. And I think that, that him being banned from the Academy is probably bigger than we, than we really think just because like the being on the Academy's good graces I think probably gets you certain roles. It gets you into certain, you know, into certain things that you probably wouldn't normally have uh, access to. Right. Right. And I think him being banned because uh, uh, or him being banned for, for 10 years, I think that's, that's probably going to impact his career. So in like a if he was way. in a, a, in a good dramatic movie that was like, we're going to fucking win the Oscar for this. Yeah. If if this gets filmed, they wouldn't cast him in the role because they probably wouldn't get. He can't even be there to the, accept it. I mean, who the fuck cares about that? But it, he could taint the whole shit just with like what his I'm name saying. on like, there. Is that yeah. what you is? That, yeah, because I think he's so. Involved, I think so. It would negatively affect the overall voting process for that movie, right? Is that I think so. that's kind of definitely? What you're yeah. Definitely for at least the this is and this is a ten year span. At least the next couple of years. I yeah, don't know for how the, it at would least be the like next in like six years. Right. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. At least the next four, maybe five years, it would probably negatively affect that. Which is and really then, what I think it should have been. Like four or five years five, would yeah. have been a five good years. Yeah. Ten years is a little like decade, bro. Like it's decade. A when you say a decade, it seems yeah, like a long that's ass wild. time. It, 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 it's wild. And then and then. Not only that, and I'm, I'm, I'm just as tired of, of the fucking Will Smith talk um, as anybody else. <laughs> I'm more tired but, of the memes. Like it's yeah, yeah, still yeah, yeah. developing. 100%. Like and, yeah, and yeah. that's cool. Like it's yeah, more of the we memes can talk that about like, it. But okay. still, like there was a video that was released that it is a little bit older, but j- it just solidifies how much Jada does not give a fuck about this dude. Oh where, yeah, I know where what you're she about. Yeah, 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 where she was like recording him trying to uh, uh pretty much promote a guest that was coming on Red Table Talk and she was like, "Well, what do you think about this?" and he was like, "I think that you should not record me without asking me in my own house and uh, and all this stuff." And she's just like, "Uh, you see, I'm still dealing with this foolishness and blah blah blah." Like just the way that she talks to him. She came out and said that she did not even want to marry him like yeah. that that came out and he was and joking about the shit the too aisle. yeah like bro and i understand like he he doesn't want another failed marriage after his first marriage failed but leave that toxic bitch alone bro Word. leave her ass alone bro and yeah. that's that's my whole thoughts on that she is toxic she is bringing down your career Making to like raise a clown, hers like a clown because she is yeah. on a podcast and we know we're podcasters, right? What brings attention to a podcast drama. Mm-hmm. So, so she's bringing you, drama. <laughs> I'm just saying like people just love that shit, right? People nah, love damn, the, for sure, for the sure. static and the drama. She's bringing the drama into their household where for the longest time, everyone who, Talk positively about Will and Jada, you know, even mm-hmm. like, you know, you remember J. Cole, right? Mm-hmm. Want that widow in the J. Love. Yeah. So, so it's like. <laughs> that didn't age well. <laughs> well, but it's because at that point we didn't know shit about their relationship. Now with her having a podcast that pretty much is breaking down all kinds of shit. She's involving, she's inviting people into their relationship and will as the actor where you don't want to bring people into your fucking life is now into this whole shit. And it's, yeah. 
hitting him negatively, but it's hitting her positively, right. and she's all about. He her. was so on a come her. up in the last couple of years. Yeah. Like, He'd been on some like real rejuvenation. He had so many things going, so many yep. different projects. Yep. It was actually kind of like a, yo, like there's a, a Will Smith overload. Like I'm kind of tired of seeing Will Smith involved <laughs> in everything. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And she, she done really like put a stop to that bullshit. And uh, mm-hmm. uh, it's mm-hmm. over for the dude. So, yeah. yeah. I sucks, don't think it's sucks. over for him, but slowing down for, the for next, a little bit. For the, yeah. next, right, for the next few years, we're not really going to. Sure. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're, we're really not going to hear from him in his camp for a little bit, at least. All right. Anyways, moving on. Another uh, anyway, yeah. uh, follow up story here. Uh, last week, y'all talked about um, the other, one of the other goats um, in the business world, Mr. Elon Musk, um, acquiring a giant portion of I fuck uh, with Elon Musk uh, mm-hmm. of Twitter. Um, not Elon does. I, I don't know if he's like, like trolling people with this. Probably. I don't know if he's doing <laughs> yeah. like uh, a financial thing where he's trying to just like, cause you know, he sold a shit ton of Tesla shares yeah. in order because there was like some tax implications or whatever. So he, ha- he had to sell a ton and then he had to pay a ton of tax. So maybe he's like, I don't want to have all this like cash on me. Where could I like do with this money so that maybe that's why he threw so much bread at Twitter. Cause he spends like, at least three hours a day on that fucking platform, it seems like. He, he does. Dude sure. is tweeting and trolling a, a lot on that shit. Anyways, uh, one of the things that happened was um, because he owned so much, they had offered him a seat on the board for Twitter because that's the best way to control a person that's trying to buy a lot of you know, your, your shares, right? Because one of the rules to be on the board was that he couldn't own more than 14.9% of the shares of Twitter. He'd be limited to under 15% control. Um, and uh, and so that was scheduled to happen on the 9th of April. Uh, they had told everyone that Elon was going to be a board member. And then mm-hmm. uh, yesterday, Sunday, I, th- I believe it was Sunday or, or Saturday, but over this weekend, um, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the CEO of Twitter, um, Parag Agrawal, announced uh, that, uh, yeah, Elon decided, nah, son, I'm good on that. Uh, And he's not going to take a seat on the board. He abandoned Mm. his plan uh, and then just spent the weekend, like, literally kind of trolling Twitter with polls. Because originally, if if y'all remember, (laughs) like, he had, like, uh, uh, he had... They had said that he was going to take the board seat, and then he he posted a poll like, "Should Twitter have an edit button?" And then the CEO of Twitter replied to that Twitter poll and was like, "Pay close attention. The implications of this vote could have impact." Right. So he was like, really taking Elon seriously on this. Um, and then of course Elon backed out, was like, "Nah, I don't want to be involved," which probably gives him opportunity to buy more of Twitter or yeah. do something. Like I no nobody knows what the fuck is going on in Enoch's head. So who knows what he's gonna do with this, how he's gonna make this play. But then like he spent the week like literally putting up polls like should Twitter drop the W and just be titter? Titter, <laughs> yeah, I did see that. Or like he, he had a whole bunch of like wild ass I'll little fucking that. uh 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 <laughs> uh uh polls that he had up, uh, th- uh, I'm trying to see if I could find what some of those shits were, but there, oh, he did have some that were pretty implicative. Like he was like, uh, you know, people that sign up for Twitter blue, um, which is, should I think, uh, verification three check. bucks a month. Yeah. He said that they should have a, a verification check and they shouldn't be, able, they shouldn't see any ads, which honestly, I can't believe if you pay three bucks a month for Twitter that you still see ads. That's some kind of bullshit. Um, but uh, but yes, he also uh, uh, trolled on the company and was like um, three bucks a month per account. I think when you sign mm. up for Twitter Blue, like is that the same? Shit I, don't, as, I don't really. I don't know. Twitter I can't so. remember what Twitter yeah. Blue is. It, that's not the same thing as Super Follow, right? That's just uh, nah, I don't that's, think so. Yeah, no, no, that's something else. Well, you should. I a hundred percent agree with that uh, poll. If you sign up for Twitter Blue, you should get a fucking check mark because you authenticated and you shouldn't see any ads. Um, however, he said uh, uh, he also put up another poll asking if they should 
uh, turned the headquarters uh, in San Francisco into a homeless shelter since nobody shows up anyway. Ah, mm, damn. And then Bezos commented on that. Did and you he see did. It? did. He you, did. Be, yeah. He did. And I, I don't know if Bezos was trolling him back or, how, or what was I going on. I couldn't tell, on. but Elon agreed with him. Like He did, yeah. Bezos said something. He was like, I don't know, partial or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he used some term that said. I'm not uh, familiar yeah, I, with. I, I, but I, it, I it seemed like it was a little bit more. That, I think that's what I didn't understand was what partial was. So yeah. I didn't know if that was like an inside term or some shit. So I couldn't tell if he was joking or if he was for real. But anyways, uh, Elon no longer um, going to take that board seat at, at, at Twitter. Moving on. Next story. Right. Um, the uh, This is a, a really tragic story. I don't know if you guys heard about this. Um, uh, cor- big Ohio State quarterback, uh, big time star, um, uh, signed in the first round by... Uh, the Washington, what are they? The Commanders? I can't. I can't remember. They got some weird Something new name like now. That, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, no, uh, no. The 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 former Washington Redskins. Oh, they, uh, they actually I have. They have a new okay. name now. I think it's Washington Commanders. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. Yeah, Commanders. They changed every um, football team. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, officially the yeah, Washington Commanders, Commanders now. Um, they, um, uh, they let this guy go. He was the, he was a starting quarterback two years ago. Um, they let him go. Um, and, uh, and he got signed by the Pittsburgh Steelers as a backup last year. Um, but he, uh, unfortunately was doing like a early training thing down in Florida. Yeah. Weird situation. I still don't understand how exactly this happened, but he was walking on the highway uh, and was trying to cross the highway. Now, again, in Florida, sometimes they say highway. It could be, oh, like, bro. an actual, like, just one lane or two lane road. I don't know that it was, like, the 95. Um, but regardless, trying to cross the highway, he gets hit by a dump truck. And my man is dead at 24. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I see. I, I did see the rest in peace posts and all that, but I, I had no idea who he was or or how he passed. But yo, Florida. Oh, no, it Florida. was. Holy shit. It was five ninety five. Yeah. Damn, that's a wow. legit highway that's an interstate. Yeah. He was trying to cross it. Yeah. The westbound lanes of the five ninety five. I have no idea why. Why crack. would you try? Why? Like crack? Like yeah. that's the only thing that makes sense. Like what the fuck? Drugs. Meth, what PCP, they do down there, like, uh, um, bath salts. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, no. Yo, Flor- Florida, the drivers are crazy. On, they yeah, don't, on top yo, of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're not stopping for any. You you think New York, New York City is wild. Like, Florida is crazy. Even the Florida drivers that end up here in upstate New York. Word. I know that, like, oh, okay, you're you're doing this because you're from Florida. Yeah. You, you're just straight up. You don't. You don't give a fuck. Like you right. know what I mean. Um, and, and I hear the the horror stories from Danny. Obviously, yeah. Um, oh Jesus. It's, yeah, it's just it's it's bad. It's bad over there. Um, yeah, man. Rest in peace, man. Yeah, Thoughts and for real. Friends, it's it's friends a really sucky story. Uh, there's still no no. At 24, 24 is yeah, super 24, young. Yeah, twenty four, bro. Twenty four millionaire, bro. He had, he had, what are you doing as a millionaire? What are you doing? Trying to cross, trying to cross any street by by yourself. Right? What the, like no, get an Uber. Yeah, get a I get an Uber. I gotta go across the street. I'm jumping in this Uber real quick. Word. <laughs> uh, but you know, and the yeah. Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger, he just retired too. Was has yes. is he about to step up and be that dude? Like I don't think so. That, I think no. he had a shot at getting the second, um, the backup okay. role. Cause, yeah. uh, cause they got Mitch Trubisky. I think Mitch oh, Trubisky was right. going to be they the starter. Get, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then they had another quarterback as well behind Mitch. Um, trying to remember his name, um, but but he was uh, he was another backup uh, there in, uh, in in Pittsburgh. So I I think he was um, going to be competing. Had some um, promise, some potential. To get second, yeah, to get second. I mean, he, like I said, he was a he was he, he had like records at, at Ohio yeah. State. Like he was a big time uh, uh, player. He was up for the Heisman. Um, so he's not like he's not a, a bum. bum. But right. then again, you know, not everybody translates well into the NFL. 
Um, mm-hmm. And he and he didn't do well uh, in in the, the um, combine. Well, no, not not. I think I don't think he did bad in the combine because, like I said, he was drafted fifteenth overall. Right, right. Um, but he he didn't do well um, in the uh, the 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 game. I'm trying to think of what that fucking word is. What they typically say, like on ESPN, but like the 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 game plan of Washington or whatever, like mm. the institution. He he didn't uh, perform well um, with uh, w- what they had going on. Um, gotcha. He didn't uh, mesh with the, well with their system. Yeah. Uh, Rudolph is, uh, is, is the other, Kyle uh, Rudolph, Kyle Rudolph. No, not yeah. Ky- is it Kyle Rudolph? No, 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 not Kyle. No, he's a, he's a tight end. <laughs> he's a tight end. I was going to say, he's a tight end. Oh man. What the fuck is Rudolph's? I yeah, know. Uh, I have no input on, <laughs> on this, uh, you know, sports ball talk. I knew he was like up there though. Cause like other, I saw like NFL Mason, stars. And Mason shit Rudolph. Tweeting. Sure. I didn't know. I don't know that name Nathan at all, Rudolph, but like I saw sorry. people tweeting about it and shit. And like, I didn't realize, I don't know. I, I didn't realize how young he was. Like, I thought he was just, like, a backup quarterback. Like, I didn't realize he was so fresh. Like, because that, that name, like, Dwayne Haskins, like, I was thinking of, like, another player, I feel like, another Haskins or Hoskins or something. It just it didn't hit me. Yeah. And then that's that's really shitty, dude, 24. Yeah. Because, like, uh, what was it, R- RG3? RG3 was mm-hmm. the quarterback mm-hmm. for Washington, and then yeah. he yeah. kind of fell off, and Dwayne Haskins was kind of the that's replacement right. for that's him. Right. He came in. Yeah. And uh, and uh, as another rookie, and tried to, but he was only there for two years um, in Washington. I think he he played a full first year, did poorly, um, and then he only made it like halfway through his second year, and then they sat him, uh, like I, I think I don't know, game six or eight or something like that, um, and, uh, and and he that didn't was it. really, yeah, that was that was it for him and, and his starting career, and then he was just backup. Steelers picked him up last year and he was in third uh he, he was a third place uh position. So he was fighting for um uh you know that second role um mm-hmm. to to kind of help replace what what uh what Ben and uh Mason and and Mitch were doing over in Pittsburgh but yeah, uh sad sad story. Um mm-hmm. uh so yeah, RIP to to the guy I gotta, um, I, I gotta reach out to Paul P and make sure he's okay. That was his team. That's his team. Now nah, he's a <laughs> he's a Commanders fan. He is a Commanders. Oh, yeah, who were we Steelers. talking about? Steelers. He was Steelers. a Steelers oh, fan, oh, quarterback. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Originally, he, uh, a Commanders. He guy, was a reg- Yeah, he was originally. Still. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, did y'all hear about this? Um, <laughs> w- which is kind of like I don't know, like a sign of the future. Is this something mm-hmm. that we're gonna have to deal with? I don't know, but uh, did y'all see this video of a uh, driverless car in San Francisco? So one of these autonomous robo taxis uh, oh. from <laughs> Cruise. Uh, so <laughs> the video got posted online uh, on, on Twitter this week. Um, a robo taxi gets pulled over by a cop because it had a light out. So the cop sees a car with a headlight out. Decides to pull over over the car and you see the cop walk up to the car, right? And there's nobody in the fucking driver's seat. (laughs) So as soon as the cop walks away from the car, the fucking car takes off. (laughs) And the car takes us on the lamb. How does the car know when to pull over? Like if a car is being pulled over by a cop, the autonomous system knows they're like, yo, I'm being pulled over. I need to. I think, I think maybe it recognizes the lights. So I I believe in the video, it was, it was at a a red light when, when the cop originally came behind Uh, the car. Right. Uh, And so the cop, the, the, but the car, the light turns green. The robo car did not take off. I think though, again, in my mind, looking at the video, I believe when the cop walked up to the car, uh, the car wasn't going to move because there was a person too close to the car. Uh, mm. and, and I think that's why it didn't move. And as soon as he walked away, the car did take off, but it only went like a block or so away. And then it like literally put the flashers on and pulled over. Uh, Damn. and then the car, and then the cop came up behind him and they literally was still staring at the fucking car. Like, uh, what do we do? There's nobody in this car. Like there wasn't yeah. a what passenger. The, the car, did they just was, leave the ticket in there? So when it goes back to wherever <laughs> it's going, they're like, Oh fuck, I got a ticket. Mother. 
motherfucker. See, but thinking about like the people who who are creating this thing, right? They should have thought of that. Like if this car gets pulled over for whatever reason, we should have something like pull up an iPad that shows some sort <laughs> of information from this like as soon you know what I mean just yeah. like some this type is of an, uh, an autonomous vehicle uh you know powered by whatever company right and this is a test vehicle you, you, you get what I'm saying like yeah. there should have been something for that and if it is an autonomous vehicle it should probably have cameras all around it oh I'm sure it does it. Yeah. And and if there are flashing lights to a point where it's, you know, like a police car, um it should have already known to stop. So like these are things that I think their people are the the developers or whatever they're called are just not thinking about and that should have been probably one of the first things before releasing it out to the world. It's like, yo, what if this car gets pulled over? Does it know when there's ambulances coming, the fire trucks coming? Like, you got to get right. over to the side of the road. Like, does yeah. it have any concept it's of gotta, you know, it's, any of these, has to. these rules of the road? Like, it's just I, things I've never thought about until you even talked about the story. Exactly. I was like, how do exactly. they know these little things that we obviously know over time from driving and doing? Like, but just little things that, like you said, maybe the developers or the programmers or whoever the fuck does it just didn't think about. Like, these have to be thought about they have to be contingencies like i don't it doesn't make sense that these wouldn't be able to react to emergency vehicles like it fucking cuts off an ambulance that's got somebody that needs a transplant or so like it could get fucking wild as well as all i'm thinking bro and i don't i don't know the intricacies of these systems and i don't know how they react to that but that would be that's something i'm probably going to research on my own time to to figure (laughs) out because that's now (laughs) now i'm I'm very curious yeah i'm very curious about these little things because this is coming right like these this Mm -hmm. this is the second company uh this is uh uh this is cruise uh so waymo has been i believe operating robo taxis in san francisco and arizona for some while uh for some time and now uh gm's cruise uh is another robo taxi company that are literally allowed by san francisco law to drive with nobody in the car um it's only in certain segments it's only in certain parts of the city that are pre-mapped it's not like the way that uh tesla is doing their auto driving that's literally uh (laughs) trying to yeah it's like anywhere uh, and it's trying to you, make decisions in the moment based right. on what it sees. These are like pre-mapped roads, pre-mapped areas that are all, you know, it, it has an idea already what it's going to do based on what it, it has learned from traffic and those whatever, I don't know, 15 city blocks or. That is uh, but imagine, definitely. The imagine future. all of us like stumble out of a bar in San Francisco and we need a ride. And like we call one of these autonomous with nobody in it, bro. Like, yeah. how sick would that be? Like, Honestly, you just it dope. rolls up, you just jump in, bro. bro. And like, if it followed the rules it's of coming, the road, and like, it I've was been, safe. Like, that would I've be. I've been hammered fire. to a point where that would be fire. It would be much safer for this car to drive itself wherever. Oh, oh 100%. absolutely, one hundred percent. Yes, it's like it's not, not even a safety issue. Just the, like pure awe factor of like, yeah. damn, there's yeah, nobody yeah, in I this motherfucker you, right now, and we're getting whipped. And you're already I've, crunk, so you're. I've feeling also it. been hammered enough that I've gotten into Ubers and not even noticed who the driver was. So. Exactly. I may not even notice that the car was driving itself. Yeah. I would put a cardboard cutout. Out no, I would notice that. There. I don't care how drunk I am. I would notice. Ain't no driver <laughs> in this motherfucker. Like, yo, Damn. what the fuck? Am I oh, in the cash shit. cab? <laughs> yo, That's I would murder in the cash cab. I would fuck with the cash cab hard. Facts. Oh man, that was great. Yeah, you'd be gr- fucking great in the cash cab. Yeah, yeah, you would. I, I can't my, think that fast. We need to take a cab next time we're in the city just on hopes. Is that still a thing? <laughs> they still do the no, cash I don't, cab? I don't do. think so. But. I need to know how that works because there's no way these people just hop in, get your money, and get out. Like, it's it's got to be staged in some way. Like, No, I think people just hop in. I don't know. Like, I don't know. There's the so editing, many people in New like, York. Like, I don't know. I don't it could it. be and it can be. <laughs> like, it's, it's, you know... <laughs> Reality TV scares me on how I'm robbing that dude. I'm like, yo, I know you (laughs) got cash on you. Run it right now. Pull all that shit out. I want it. Like you're gonna get killed right now if you don't. I think that they go hundred bucks. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, he's got thousands, bro. What if they crush it? 
I think that they probably record a number of people a night. Like, probably not a crazy number, but maybe right, like, right. even yeah, if yeah. you do like five, five pickups a day, right? And the host who... who I'm at Zappa. Yeah, yeah. Like the host, in, in he signs on to this for like, let's say, a month. Five people a day isn't like a wild a wild uh, situation. You know what I mean? It's not your job to actually drive people, but five, uh, five people a day is enough where for a, for an, an entire month, you can get a season of good of content content. You know what I mean? True. Like, I think, I think that would be enough because really in a season, it would be about seven, eight, Nine episodes of that, yeah, maybe a little bit more. Do what, a like people, two or yeah. three people per episode. Yeah, yeah, they do a bunch of different. Yeah, uh, it's, n- it's nothing crazy. Pickups. It's nothing crazy. So yeah. he's got to he's got to know his way around the city too, because he's still driving these ah, fucking people, bro. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. oh yeah. no, you're. I mean, GPS, I mean, GPS teaches you everything. GPS. <laughs> GPS so I, think there's, I don't even think there's point. a single cab driver that knows their way in the city anymore. They're all uh, no, using there's GPS. There's that one guy, that one guy that just fucking knows, bro. That's, that's knows true. That's true. Every crevice of that city. All right, no, yeah. new story. Um, I think we may have to issue our first insensitive culture apology. Uh oh. Mm. Which is hard to say. Hard to swallow, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm still not going to give full credit to this, but uh, it's been revealed. Um, we, we've we previously are on record as talking shit about IGN. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, recently the lead, uh, one of the senior editors for IGN posted on Twitter that they're looking for freelancers to start writing articles because there's just so much, you know, flow of stories and games and entertainment and tech and science and all the shit that they cover. Right. Mm -hmm. So they, for some reason mention in the tweet, how much they're paying for these articles. And I want y'all to guess, what do you think someone gets paid for an article on IGN, assuming so there's there's three numbers here, uh, um, and uh, and let's say an article that uh, you know is on other websites. Sure, but you're not. It's not exclusive to you. You're not the only one covering it, but it's a big enough news story um, in you know games, entertainment, tech, or science. Sure, and uh, and you write an article on this. Probably one of the many articles that we've criticized. How much do you think that person gets paid for that story? Ten dollars. Mm. <laughs> from from the from the shitty ass articles that I've read, ten, five to <laughs> five to ten dollars. I'm gonna say that's, thirty. That's, that's for <laughs> thirty dollars. Because that's what it seems like they're worth when I read them. That's that's fair. And that's uh, and and you you're not you're both not far off because it's actually twenty dollars. <laughs> that is twenty dollars yeah. per article, which totally yeah. explains why these articles are shitty as fuck, and people are literally burning them out in like probably ten minutes worth of time, and moving does on this, to the next thing. Does this count also for reviews? Because the reviews were what I went in on for IGN. They reviewed some episodes of like the Mandalorian that were, yeah, and we all agree that were just fire. And they're like just hating and trashing it. Like, is this count for like opinionated shit? Like, are they paying people 20 bucks for reviews and just posting whatever the fuck they get? Because that's what it feels like when I read that shit. <laughs> so uh, I believe uh, I'm trying to look up the full. Uh, Not necessarily the Mandalorian, right. but so uh, they pay twenty dollars weekly. <laughs> so it's twenty dollars for a, a basic news aggregation, which is like I said, something that's somewhere else, and, and you're just mm-hmm. aggregating, writing something, so it's on their site. Fifty dollars for something that's a little bit more involved, um, maybe a community angle. I think she says not sourced from another outlet, outlet, and uh, three hundred dollars. 
for in-depth multi-source reporting. So I'm going to guess those reviews are probably on the $50 range uh, and not in the $300 range because the $300 article seems like some shit that's like breaking news, exclusive to IGN. Yeah. They, they like, break like Sony bought Rockstar or something yeah, and, sick. And, like, yeah, and they're the only insane. people reporting it. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm going to say probably 50 bucks for those reviews or maybe somewhere in between 2 and 50, 20 and 50. Yeah. I'm going to speak for Which all of still us and say says, that we, yeah, I think we're not getting our money's worth. <laughs> we don't we don't owe them an apology or anything. They're, that makes them even bigger pieces of shit for paying garbage for content that well, people actually rather, consume. I, I'm apologizing <laughs> to the authors of the articles. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, they're just, they want to get that bread. I get they're it. They're just rushing through this shit, bro. Sure. They're just yeah, trying yeah, to get sure. their bread. And it makes sense how, why these articles are so shitty. I would like to um, take back that apology that both of you gave to uh, <laughs> to anyone who had a shitty fucking article and and dumbass uh, uh, a review on something. So it doesn't yeah. make their, their point of view doesn't no. like the reviewer. Like even though he was getting paid dick for that Mandalorian article, yeah. that doesn't excuse his shitty opinion. Yeah, exactly. So they, they get, <laughs> no. they get, you still yeah yeah you still fucking suck. Your garbage. So, your sorry. site is trash. Yeah. Games Gamespot all day. <laughs> Follow Gamespot. <laughs> fuck IGN. Yeah. I won't even like a tweet you for are, nothing, yeah. bro. Nothing. If you're a person that specifically gives bad reviews for things that you know people enjoy just and like they really bucks. liked, just to get twenty bucks and just to have a, a shitty review on it, <laughs> yeah. you know, just to just to give the opposite review because you get off on that. Yeah, still fuck that guy. Those so. reviews were so bad, bro. <laughs> so bad. It They've was like one of bad, like the yeah. one of the Luke episodes, bro. Yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, this is trash." Through yeah, it to yeah, the point yeah, where yeah, I, yeah, I remember. It's <laughs> like, get the fuck. To the point like, where IGN has to come out and be like, "Yo, uh, so yeah, this is this is why this was happening." There was no bad. retractions. They're just like, "Yeah, this is what you've been seeing." Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I feel for you. However, if you have one of those opinions and you. Uh, and you put it up on that site for 20 bucks, you should get slapped. Yeah. I'm just going to go hate on all of them even more. Like, <laughs> enjoy that 20 bucks for this shit-ass article? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, did they stop it? Did, uh, I'm sorry. You, did you say whether they stopped doing that shit or not? No, they're, they're, they're hiring. No, they're actively yeah, hiring they, folks. They want more okay, okay, shitty okay, stories. Yeah, yeah. More shit is what they're they asking for more, specifically. More shitty stories. All, all right. right. So... Fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Very I, last so story. Just, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that just further solidifies that I'm no longer going to IGN <laughs> yeah. for any kind of story. Which sucks, Word. too, because they were so fucking they used to be, yeah. on it, bro. Yeah, they yeah, used to good. be on their they're shit, good. like Not on anymore. point. Not anymore. What was, that, what was the uh, acronym we gave them? <laughs> I forgot I what it was. <laughs> I forgot what it was, but we remember. but we literally named an episode after that. <laughs> we'll have to go through and yeah. roll it back. <laughs> oh man, something oh. game network. Well, now they, they they that yeah. shit stands for I got nothing. Anyway, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Very last story. Um, <laughs> this was, uh, I think last week that this happened, but I, I didn't hear either of y'all talk about this. So sure. this is further proves and solidifies why I do not fly Southwest, um, <sighs> and, uh, and won't be flying Southwest just cause you know, the, the passengers, that you run into on there. It's not about the people that work there. Like you, you know, flight attendants, pilots, they all deal with their shit. Every airline sucks right. when it comes to delays and, and bullshit like that. Like they always have some bullshit going on. Uh, but the people that fly these low budget airlines, like <laughs> Southwest low and budget Spirit people? and Is Frontier. That what you're to say? Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> I like that. You probably yeah. aren't going to find on an American Airlines or United flight someone accused of masturbating four times uh, in the fucking plane. Like, not in the bathroom, four not times. in their private space, but four times in their seat, whipping it out and jerking off to the passenger the next are to you them. Telling me? Are you telling me that Southwest... 
is the NY subway station <laughs> of the airways. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. All right. How long was this flight? Where was it going? From where to where? It was a three-hour flight. A three-hour flight, and it had to be cranked four times. From Seattle to Phoenix. You're fucking high! Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Seattle to Phoenix, Jeez. and the dude needed to whip it out four times. Exposed his penis by pulling down his pants and shorts and began masturbating four times. Four times. And this is where I feel like people like him need to be treated like sons of anarchy. We need to chop his fucking fingers off <laughs> down to these two fingers. Or, or oh, was it shit, these I two? forgot about that good shit. Call back. Good callback. Yeah. Call yeah. Like, yeah. It's good call. Yeah. And he just needs to be... What did yeah. they they take his thumbs so he couldn't grip around his shit? What I, I did think, they What did they do? I, I I remember something. Oh, they gave him. Oh, it was only his his index fingers so that he can type. What was his shit, name? He had else. a name that it was like a nickname uh, that was like jerking was off or something. <laughs> that was fucking oh, they funny. I can't. I totally forgot about that. They, they did. did. Nubs they did. was it? Nub. It was something I fucking. Think, I don't, I don't remember. So, so, I so while you're looking that up, uh, she, the, the woman told Phoenix police officer she saw the man masturbate four times using oh. both hands, and she also suspected that he busted his nut because she once saw him licking a white substance from his fingers. Oh, and, oh from his and fingers. And he admitted uh, wow. to FBI agents that he thought it was kinky, uh, and he says that he asked the woman that reported it if she minded um and he said she just put her hands in the air and said it really doesn't matter <laughs> ah. okay so he went the uh the louis ck route exactly as <laughs> i asked and she said whatever <laughs> okay what i'm cool with it oh it's so fucking gross uh, uh no i can't i can't i can't find the name because they I just remember his face. I can't believe yeah. my man I, was licking his own nut, though. That's oh, that's fucking gross, gross bro. Yeah, that's fucking disgusting. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's fucking gross, bro. Oh man, yeah, yeah. That, that is that is insane. I will never fly uh, <laughs> Southwest, nor would I fly Spirit. Uh, I was saying, that seems like something you'd see on Spirit. It does seem way more spirity, though. Uh, I will Yo, admit to that. Yo, I saw a video because I don't fly too often. So, but I but I hear things of certain certain uh, uh, you know companies and shit. And I saw a video. I think it was on TikTok where the dude was like, "Yo, I was scared for my life." Mid flight, his uh, uh, or the engine went out. Or I think no, they were they were uh, going up, mm -hmm. and the engine went out, and you can hear the like it was stuttering, mm. and then the shit just dies. It's quiet, and and he was just shook. You know what I mean? I don't know if it ended up coming back. I don't know what happened, but he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna like I'm scared right now," mm. and it was I think it was a spirit flight. <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, man, pay that pay that money, man, yeah. pay that extra money for kind of Delta. Word. Something. I'm, I'm going to Cali in a couple of weeks, and definitely I think I'm going American or nice. something. Nice. That's the way to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Do not I'm like, fly spirit can't. across the country. I, no, man. I Nah, man. No I can't, TWA I can't either. Is TWA still a thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like they crashed they every other fucking, fucking like year, dog. <laughs> or some shit. Who's the nah, company, nah, who's nah, the company that's JetBlue now? I don't know. What's that? Who who's JetBlue now? Or, or are they not JetBlue? Uh, JetBlue is JetBlue. Um, I oh, think they're they, still JetBlue. They, they're, they've partnered with uh, American Airlines, but they're oh. actually JetBlue is trying to buy um, Spirit um, Frontier. Right, we mentioned before on the show that Frontier yeah, was yeah, trying yeah. to buy Spirit. Oh, Frontier, yeah, um, Frontiers. And uh, I heard I heard some shit about Frontier too. Though. Oh, Frontier is just as bad as Spirit, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if worse, worse. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, a little side note. I mean, the bad flight experience. Um, Frontier flies for in 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 specifically in Rochester. They fly uh, to Orlando, right? They they have yeah. a really cheap cheap flight that people do. Um, but apparently, it's only 
on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's only like once or twice a day or some shit like that. I think it might even be like one flight a day or some shit. And like, so my, my in-laws had a flight to go down to Orlando and the flight got canceled because of weather. And they literally told them like the next flight is Thursday. And it was a Tuesday. Damn. Yeah. Like that'd be some bullshit. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. My next flight is two <laughs> days mean? from now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> two-day layover that's crazy yeah. Put me up somewhere. <laughs> like i have a when i'm because i'm flying out to the west coast and i have a three-hour layover and even then i'm like fuck yeah all right <laughs> like all right well at least i don't have to run to the because that's what i'm used True. to is like i have yeah. to run to the next spot home alone and style. then wait yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> that's what i was telling my girl i'm like yo I, i'm like i'm kind of like what the fuck am I going to do for three hours? But then again, I'm like, well, at least I don't have to run. Cause yeah. that sucks too. That sucks too. Just crank one out. So you don't have to jerk it on the plane. I mean, <laughs> there's still, <laughs> there's still, <laughs> there's still a 50, 50 chance. <laughs> <laughs> so gonna whip it up. Like I might still have to. So it's a long flight. You never know. <laughs> I, I, I don't, right. I don't blame you. Right. Don't, don't get some drinks in me. Nah. Anyway, moving Ooh. on. Uh, <laughs> uh, the urge, man. I can feel it down in my plum. <laughs> yeah, or like deep, deep in there. All right, deep man. So, <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, do you have any other uh, news? That is all. That's everything. So, you know what time it is? Hollywood. 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 That means exactly what what it what it says, man. We're gonna be talking about some Hollywood news that has come up in the last week. So, remember last week we talked about our guy Ezra Miller and how he is spazzing the fuck out on people, right? Ooh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Regardless of how we all agree that yeah, anyone singing that fucking song by by uh, Lady, <laughs> Gaga Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper and Bradley that, that Cooper shallow, deserves right? to get smacked. Yeah, smack him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, the the people that don't agree that 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 people should get smacked for that is uh, WB, WB and DC. Uh, so they have reportedly paused all future Ezra Miller projects following his multiple arrests. Because <laughs> uh, it says his arrest, but we know multiple that doesn't been, do it justice. Multiple no. sounds like three, four. This was nah, 10, ten, motherfucker, ten, ten altercations uh, in the past wild. month. In the past month, it, it didn't even... Oh, my God. In 30 <laughs> days. <laughs> yes, exactly. The cops show up. They're like, all right, Ezra. I don't know what going this guy is doing, uh, uh, you know, to fuck up his career so badly. But apparently a lot of people now are really coming out and saying, yeah, Ezra is Miller has abuse? been a piece of shit for a while. Is it? Is it just like, does he have a problem with booze? Is that is that I, the honestly, core? I'm not sure. <laughs> is it mental health? Like, there's so many different things that it could be. And I'm I, honestly I don't not speculate. sure. I know that Flashpoint is the only thing that anybody is really looking forward to with that whole thing. And that has been pushed prior to any of this stuff going on, at least before we even caught wind of it. Um, that has been pushed an entire year, bro. Is that enough time to refilm Ezra's scenes with another Flash? They might. <laughs> they, they, they might. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Uh, but anyway, that move that that film is already done. Wrapped. It's wrapped. I think they just want to ride it out. They want to ride out. Just at least get it to a point where it's not fresh in anyone's mind that Ezra Miller is completely spazzing out. I would and say then, get it out before he fucks up more. Yeah. And it gets worse. Cause he's Word. clearly not getting better dog. Yeah, 10 times true. the cops had to come, just get the movie out, get your money yeah, and then tough. move the fuck on from Ezra yeah. because it's not working out clearly. Well, it they're seems not, like they're, they're not going continuing to move, move that story from. anyway. Right? Like, I mean, like they, they have no canon. DC has what, no, yeah. we don't know what the fuck's going I don't know. on. They I don't don't. Know. Right. I'm hearing, I'm hearing rumors also that they, that they are all this shit secretly out. like trying to roll back out the, uh, the, you know, the whole Zack Snyder verse. Oh, oh now they're going all, back. Now that's well, canon the, all of a sudden because Ezra Miller well, can't handle his fucking Modelo. I'm just saying, like I, I, I'm, I'm hearing small rumblings that huh. they are trying to continue that. 
And and a lot of that is because of little tidbits that they've that I, I don't know if they're true. That's why I'm not really exposing it. And it could also be spoilers, possibly. You just broke of, it. Of, broke of, of certain things that are going on with like early um just early viewings of Flashpoint. Mm. Where it kind of leaves things open and maybe it's Jared Leto's licking his chops over there. He's like, I mean, mm, yeah. I'm getting on some. Speaking of, this. of that, speaking of that though, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, yes, uh, Morbius has been getting a lot of the, you mm, know, getting panned. Mm, we can yeah, call sure. it panned, yeah, panned. But uh, I was looking at it a little earlier when we were talking about it. But uh, it's it has a, a Rotten Tomato score of like 18. percent Oh Jesus! But an audience score of seventy. You know what? Moonfall was very similar, where it had a very poor critic rating. Yeah, and the audience score, I believe, was actually seventy percent. And I fucked with it exactly. for sure. So, so I'm not. I, I can't write off Morbius, but like I still feel bad for Jared Leto that I wasn't writing it off. He dude. can't. I I was. I was after I all that bullshit. After seeing the teasers and the trailers, I was writing it off. I was like, "This is gonna be bad." <laughs> like uh, one that. of the things that I did see for that um, was the fact that you know people are saying like, "Why was Spider Man on the wall of the trailer and everything?" Mm-hmm. You know, and the, like they tease certain things in the trailer mm-hmm. that didn't show up in the movie, and people were pissed off about that. Right, and and when they asked the director. The director was like, I shot the movie. I directed the movie. I had no say on the trailer. I hadn't, I don't know who, put, you know, like know they put together, uh, yeah, they know. put together yeah. the trailer. So yeah. don't ask me. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 it's a Warner brothers move. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but I, I still didn't write it off. The, the reviews weren't great, but I saw enough where people were just saying like, yo, it, it it was it wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad see, movie. I didn't see any of those reviews because everything everyone I saw jumps. Was, everyone, was trash. everyone like, jumps on the bandwagon of whatever the majority yeah. feels like. If it's funny, if, if people are talking shit about a movie, they find it funny and it becomes like meme worthy. So then everyone jumps on the bandwagon okay. of this is a shitty movie. Yeah, and and they're sharing memes. And they're sharing, you know, and then, uh, but, but I've seen enough reviews of people who actually like go to movies and things like that, where they're saying, you know what, it was actually not that bad. And every person that I've seen continue that whole, this was a shitty ass movie was the same fucking people that were, that, that were putting out shit saying that the Batman was a shitty movie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Which by the way, that's, uh, the not true. One one week from now, uh, which uh, we're Max. recording this. We're recording this on Monday. The what is today's date? The eleventh. The eleventh. Yeah. So one week from now, it, it will be on uh, HBO Max and available for digital uh, purchase. So quick! I love it. Yeah. I'm so excited. No, I'm so excited to watch it. Again. I'm gonna watch it again. <laughs> I'm, yeah, so, for sure. I'm definitely gonna we'll fucking watch a couple right. times, probably. Probably. Super super excited. But anyway, uh, I'm down to watch Morbius. Um, I'll watch it. I'm not. I feel yeah. like it's gonna be like the first Venom movie where I didn't hate it, but it wasn't like, oh my god, Ven-. like it was yeah. just like, oh, this was an okay movie. It like was an for right me, movie, wasting a couple a, hours. I wasn't a fan of it, but it was okay. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Right. And I never watched the second one because the first one was just like, meh. Right. Yeah. And second one, I did see it, and it was same as the first. Mm-hmm. Honestly, no. So uh, probably, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably still fuck with it <laughs> enough to yeah, be like, I okay, would, I'll I would, watch it. I would watch it now that it's, you know, you could watch it at home and shit. Like, and if anything, yeah. if it oh, makes yeah. it to, if it makes it to my house, I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> if it makes it to my, that's fair. Yeah, if it that's makes fair. it to my house, I'm gonna give it a shot. Like, no. why, why am I holding such a grudge on this because other people found it shitty? For that, you wouldn't have watched Moonfall and found out that you actually enjoyed it. That's true. Moonfall, because I know honestly, when I first saw the trailer for Moonfall, mm-hmm. it wasn't a Morbius thing where I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be trash." Like, I secretly, like deep down within me, I was like, "Oh, I think I could fuck with this." It was like very like n- '90s apocalypse movies mm-hmm. fucking mm-hmm. vibes, where it was you know like they yeah. had like the news clips in there with it. Like, it just had this nostalgia factor to it. Where when I saw the trailer, I was like, 
on the low, I was like, oh, damn, that kind of looks you tight. You have to be on the low. I think I want to fuck with that. To me, but I like, already it, know. It wasn't a movie where, like, yo, you should go peep that. Like, I'm not going to go over. I'm like, yo, y'all going to check out Moonfall? Like, it was kind of embarrassing. Like, this is going to be a garbage-ass <laughs> movie. But, like, and when I watched it, and me and Ash, we watched it together, like, she wasn't sold on. She's like, oh, is this a space movie? Because, like, we watched the trailer sure, first. Sure. And I was like, it is, but, like, it's different. Like, and. And she ended up, she's like, yeah, I really like that. And we yeah, both, actually and, about. And, and, and it was move forward. The, hold on. Well, but, uh, before you get into that, my bad. My bad. No, no, I, I just wanted to get it out <laughs> that, that in all reality, the, the, uh, the whole Moonfall thing, I didn't think that it was a crappy movie. I just felt like it's not a movie people are going to go to the theater to watch. At no, this, not, at like, not now. at the state of the world, yeah, at, at the yeah, state of the yeah, world, yeah. Not necessarily that it wasn't a good movie. It wasn't a good popcorn flick that people would pop in. It's just like right now, people are very iffy about going in public, like going anywhere yeah. in public. And this, this isn't going to put them over the top. If to it would have dropped this this upcoming weekend, it probably would have killed because more people are out and doing exactly thing. or people like are, five yeah. years ago. Sure, if it would have dropped, I still don't like, think oh, it would have killed, but it would have done much better. Yeah, it, it, it would have been bad. bad. Like it, yeah, like twenty million or some shit, right? <laughs> if if that, probably, I, yeah. I think that's being generous. Yeah. Yeah. So, what yeah. were you saying? Uh, what what is it? It was just basically like the the gravitational pull of the moon is reversed, and it starts coming towards the Earth, and like it's just oh. causing all kinds of cataclysmic. Do they weather explain shit the science behind that? They they do half heartedly, and it's okay. not believable at all. So like you, you know very well because like, uh, so the, I gotta at, throw uh, logic at, out the window. The, you a hundred percent have to throw logic out the window for this movie because there's okay. no fucking way it pans Johnny's out the not, way it does. He's not with that. But like if you, it's like one of your drinking game movies. Like if you could have some drinks and just see okay. some dope shit, okay. like I'll do that. you will it, you will fuck with it that way. Like don't okay. watch it seriously. Like all right, Joyce, like we're gonna get down and like. Don't take it seriously and just be like, "All right, this is what we're gonna watch," and the, you you will have you will have a good time. I promise. Which, by All the right. way, I think we need to we need to bring that back for our IG. Oh, we need to bring facts. back drinking games. One hundred percent. Should we? Should we? We haven't done the drink every minute game in a long time. Oh, we it's need to. Yeah, we need to do it's our. Been a minute. Oh, yeah, that that we need too. to do our shit. Yeah, but it has I really to be. Wanna, it has to, I really want to do the movie drinking games. We gotta build that out. That was fun. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. That was fun. Um, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I'm just saying like, uh, the, the IG little posts, like every time a movie comes out, yeah, uh, yeah. cause we were, yeah. we, we were talking about the Batman is coming to, to video, uh, next Ooh. week, one week from Ooh. now. We'll put something the 18th, together. The we'll 18th. Put, I'll put something together before the 18th. I will have some, some rules for yeah, a Batman yeah, yeah. drinking game. And when that shit drops, we'll, we'll fucking post them. I love Word. it. Word. All right, so uh, are we moving on, or did yeah, y'all have no, some more no, talk? Let's, okay, let's go. All right, so um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness uh, over this past weekend dropped uh, the the tickets sold. Yeah, the, the, you right. know, they dropped was, over this. Uh, it was no, last it wasn't. Wednesday. It was, it was, it was, last, yeah, Wednesday. It was last yeah, week. It was last like week. Mid middle of the week. Yes, middle of the week. Tickets sold. So Pain apparently, yeah, it broke first day ticket sales rec- uh, ticket sales records. On Fandango, for two for 2022. So it, it was the most, even with like Spider Man and everything like that. I was that, gonna say, was it more than Spider Man's? I, I was yeah, the same it broke thing. records. It broke it broke records wow. for, uh, and you felt that impact. <laughs> I absolutely did. I fucking <laughs> yeah. am. I mean, it wasn't on Fandango um, because the only reason the I app. yeah, it was through the AMC app because I, I have the AMC Stubbs membership. And so right. I'm like, I'm, I, I'm paying for that shit monthly. I'm not going to pay extra for a movie ticket when I get three free movies a month. Uh, and so I have to use the AMC app. But man, was that a pain in the ass. The app wasn't working. The, the website wasn't working. Mm-hmm. It, I, I pretty much wasn't able to, like, I think the tickets went live like 9 a.m. Eastern. Uh, I think it was around then or 8 a.m. Eastern. One of those two. It was it was pretty early. I in just the remember y'all texting me. Like, yeah. Yo, tickets just went on sale. Yeah. And <laughs> and I, I wasn't able to actually get my ticket until uh, maybe one o'clock, um, yeah. two o'clock. And and thankfully, I, I I I I honestly I acquired three tickets. So I I got one ticket for day of Thursday. Yeah. At sure. three, um, and yeah. then 
uh, I'm going again on uh, Saturday, uh, and I'm going to bring Joyce because, you know, she's she's upset that I have been going to the movies without yeah, her. Sure, sure, uh, sure, sure. And, uh, and now, um, as now. we've, uh, as y'all mentioned in last week's episode, uh, Joyce is expecting, so uh, we're very grateful for that. Um, and for now sure. she's at a position where, uh, she's not so nauseous all the time uh, okay. that she can actually go out and, and do things. Because that was one of the reasons why we never ended up actually going to see Spider-Man in the theater. Because I was mm-hmm. like, there was a moment that it, she was like, let's do it. And, uh, and I was like, okay, but are you really going to be able to sit through a three-hour <laughs> movie? Because <laughs> uh, if not, it's not worth it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, which by uh, by the way, uh, I apologize if you wanted to break that, but no, that's I, I it I'm, I'm like, you know, all. Johnny Johnny said he's gonna he's he's gonna edit this one, so he'll cut that out if need be. <laughs> no, it was absolutely. I I feel like I I had asked her uh, in the week prior when I called in um, yeah. uh, to talk about the the will shit. Um, uh, I had asked her uh, if it was cool to 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 announce it. Um, and then, then I never ended even up talking about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it just slipped my mind. But um, uh, no, no, that was absolutely cool. That I didn't give a fuck. All right, cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, um, the no, the but AMC I'm the same way though. Fucking sucked, man. Everything it, it was it was crap. That whole experience. I actually uh, I went through Fandango and I and I purchased this, the the tickets pretty good and and my bad I uh, it wasn't no Spider Man was not uh, part of that uh, but the Batman was definitely a part of that and the uh, Batman okay. sold over you yeah. know seven hundred million so uh, it's definitely a big movie and this one beat that one, that wow. out but it's Marvel so right, it's Marvel. yeah know, true it's the Marvel Marvel factor. <laughs> yeah that Marvel factor is huge um, and I did I did the other way I I. Purchased two tickets, like I told you before, and I had not talked to my girl about it, but I'm like, yo, I'm purchasing these tickets. <laughs> and then I asked her afterward, like, yo, do you want to go? Do not feel. I-, I didn't even tell her that I bought the tickets. I was just like, yo, Multiverse of Madness is coming out early next month on a Thursday. You, you, you're not obligated, but do you want to go? Because I may be purchasing. I'm going to purchase these tickets, I may be right? purchasing. And she said, uh, she thought, it, because I want to know, like, legit. Like, if I told yeah. her I purchased them, it she would kind of force her would, it would yeah, yeah. to be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, so I had to, I had to fib a little bit and be like, yo, I, I, like, I'm, I'm thinking about it. So, and then she was like, um, yeah, yeah, I think so. So <laughs> I was good, like, all bitch, right, cool. Be going. <laughs> yeah, Thursday I was like, the no, fifth, all right, cool. Seven o'clock. Cool. No, we'll yeah. lock the date in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was just like, all right, cool. Well, then you know I'm gonna get us some tickets or whatever. But if she doesn't want to go, like, I, it's no, it's no, it's no big deal. But she knows that I enjoy these things, and she also knows that I I'm trying to bring her along and I'm trying to include her in these things. Mm. And I think she's, a, she's just appreciating the fact that I'm, I'm including her because Absolutely. normally yeah. Yeah, prior, yeah. prior to this past year, it was just like, yo, I'm going with Danny to watch this movie. I'm going with the fellas to watch this movie. I'm going by I'm going myself here. at yeah, 8 a.m. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> on go. a fucking Wednesday. Yeah, that's I'm how going, it was. My man sees shit at the wildest fucking times, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast movies. Like, he, he sees Wednesday a movie. at 8 a.m. I'm not and opposed, then he goes bro. and gets a grand slam at Denny's because it's fucking opposed. still 10 a.m. when he gets out of his fucking My man not is opposed, at Jay's bro. Diner and shit. <laughs> hey, man. If y'all... Yo, if y'all not comfortable within yourselves to do something <laughs> by yourself, no, it's not that's that's being not by yourself. Me, it's the, it's it's the wild, me. it's the it. wild times. It's the I wild it. times that you go. Bro, see you gotta, movies, you right? gotta. Sometimes you gotta get up. If you, if that's your day off, sometimes you gotta get up. You gotta watch a fucking matinee, bro. Like what? Like what's so wild just, about it? I've never been to a movie theater before noon. Well, that is where <laughs> you are. That is where you, you are lacking, bro. That's a problem fuck with you. Fuck y'all, go see at ten a.m. Why not? Bro, are you that's kidding? Twenty-five percent discount, bro. Bro, so, so it's always three p.m. Like, why does it have to be in the morning? You go, you go early. You go that's when early? I got free. I got calls at <laughs> <Yeah>. three, bro. <laughs> Yo, you go. 
you go live a different life than early. me. I'll live a mad different life. <laughs> Bro, you go early to a movie, right? You come out and you have the rest of your fucking day. You've already seen the fucking movie. Like what? I don't know what's like Word. unfathomable I, about just, that. It's so, it's now so, I, I got know. mad hours to jump on new rock stars <laughs> and am, watch the breakdowns. I am also not a person that on my day off, I am waking up at noon. That's, uh, that's fair. That's not me. That's fair. I don't even like, think you could sleep that long if you wanted to. Bro, You're in dad mode, bro. Word. On my day, <laughs> on my day off, like normally, I try to wake up. Four thirty-five. I set my alarm for four thirty. I snooze it for five. Get, get, get fucked. Right. No. But this is this is this is because I still four thirty. No, 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 no. This is not my day off. This is on my like work day because I try oh, to get okay. my workout. I thought you said day off. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I get, it, I get it. I get it. I get it. But it's because I try to get my 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 workout early. Facts, uh, facts, because facts, especially facts. now, now, and I think I, I ranted about it before. But like the gym sucks because my gym uh, went from like thirty dollars a month to like five to ten dollars a month. So now, so now, yeah. At, yeah, because they got bought out by somebody else, and then five that person dollars. is like, good God. Five to ten dollars a month, I forgot whatever, but it's enough to get all the fucking whack ass people that don't work mm. out religiously mm-hmm. into yeah. the gym at random time. So at five, six in the morning, it's still yeah. pretty packed, but it's not as packed. I can still get on equipment. So I have to get up at that time. So on my day Jeez. off or the day that I don't work out, I'm up at like eight, eight thirty. At, at the, that's the latest. That's the me latest. sleeping. That's sleeping in. in, dog. That's like, oh, I've slept. I've overslept. Yeah. Too much. I'm too tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm overtired. I that can't is sleep me, enough. Yo, legit. That is me sleeping in, and <laughs> you know, I, I don't for want work. to, but I can't sleep anymore. So then, so then, yeah. So like, <laughs> something <laughs> at like a movie at like. <laughs> 10, 11 o'clock? <laughs> it's not crazy. It's just, it's just, it's just it's as a kid, as, anytime I went to the movies as a child, like it was just a nighttime afternoon activity. I feel you. So, like, <laughs> it, it's like going to church at midnight mass. It feels weird being in that place at that time. Is, yeah. is all it is. I to feel me. you. Yeah, yeah. You do, you do, you baby. I know you got to. You yeah, got yeah, kids. No, you got to. You got to do what you got to do. I just. I, get it. I feel it would feel weird to me, like to get out of a movie and still have McDonald's breakfast serving fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 hash browns it's and not shit, that bro. Serious. Like, it's I, not that serious. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that early. <laughs> I don't even think the theaters oh wait like I don't even think the theater is like open till like at least eleven. My man caught the five a.m. show. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> that's what it seems like. So you see, like because these movies drop and I'm like, yo, I got my tickets for opening day and walks like, no, I'm I got my tickets for fucking eight a.m. three days before that nah, shit's supposed to that, open. I'm like, how the fuck did a, you do that? Dog? He's holding like, on to wild. a random ass memory of a time <laughs> where I probably just like had a wild day off. And I was just like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna just go catch this movie. <laughs> no, it's just I think it was you watching Mandalorian episodes at like 10 a.m. Yeah. You, were supposed to be you know why? Just because because I get up, I go to the fucking gym, and I watch the episode on half, the treadmill. Half your day is over by then. Because <laughs> when go. you're waking up at 4:30, you're doing the dad snooze at 7 p.m. after dinner in the chair. Right. That's why dads be falling asleep mad early. Exactly. Cause they wake up mad early like that. So. <laughs> right. I'm not trying to live like that, but yeah. you do you. So you're, you're a dad. Train. And then you're going to find. Even yeah. then. I'll be uh, like, I mean, dad sleeps till noon, kids. Don't you, wake him up. That is not happening. <laughs> you already know that's not happening. Bro. Yeah, I don't know what world you <laughs> live in. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. I, don't, I don't think so, bro. I live in that Kim Kardashian. You are. People so taking like care of your kids. 12 world. years old, maybe. <laughs> Word. And that's 12, 12 years of you getting up whenever the <laughs> fuck they wake uh, up. Uh, <laughs> that sounds brutal. Mm-hmm. I'm not ready. Their shits that I can't flush. Oh, yep. My my kids. <laughs> not to go. It's gonna be rough. Not to though. go down that 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 tangent. But my kids on on weekends because it's just me and them on the weekends. Oh Jesus! Those weekends, like, even though the baby is knocked out, I can still hear the other two downstairs, just like. TV full blast. One's on the iPad. Mm. The other one's watching the TV. You hear you toys can hear them. going all They're over just the like, place. Ha ha ha! Every full anarchy in my house, and then I'm just like, <sighs> you're like, should I eat this pistol? 
I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down. This is how it ends. My thought. My thought is like, yo, I'm gonna go downstairs. Nah, three is wild. I'm, that's why. Three is <laughs> I'm wild. Like, yeah. I'm gonna go downstairs. Johnny's and if I'm to still tired, I'm gonna down. tell these fuckers if the ba- <laughs> matter of fact, no. If not, it's not even if I'm still tired. If the baby stays asleep, I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna tell these fuckers to. Put the volume the down, and then I'm going to lay down with the baby f- for the remaining time that she stays asleep. Right. That's it. That's, that's as much like, as that's, you get. <laughs> that's as much as I get. And if if I could even fall asleep at that point. Right. So, yeah. So, fuck you and your comment. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> I have a very skewed perceptive, uh, perception of the world. That so. is perfectly fine. So, all right. So, so the next piece of news here. Um, so we all know, right? Whenever a, 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 a space becomes available at your local mall, mm-hmm. at your local, uh, uh, anything like, you know, just a, local, your favorite shopping plaza, shopping yep. plaza, whatever, right? Loop, strip mall. Yep. Comes mm-hmm. October. Ooh, what, what's, what what's pops going up on there? randomly? How does it even fucking get there, right? The fucking Halloween store. Spirit, spirit, spirit Halloween, Halloween store. shows up anywhere. Always. Anywhere. Doesn't matter. It could be old McDonald's. That shit is opening up as a spirit Halloween during the I uh, saw one in an old October. Pizza Hut one time. <laughs> I knew nice. that roof. I was like, this motherfucker, that was a Pizza Hut, bitch. <laughs> I ain't buying a fucking shit for They're y'all. like Chinese restaurants. They just right. pop up wherever. They mm-hmm. pop up wherever. So... Now, with the amount of shitty movies that we are getting, guess what is popping up at your local theater at some point? You guessed it. A movie about fucking Spirit Halloween starring Christopher Lloyd and Rachel Lee Cook. I fuck with the (laughs) Christopher Lloyd, but Rachel Lee Cook is a very random play for this movie. No, she's still dope. She's She's still dope. She still and she so does those Christopher type of Lloyd. movies, though. It's yeah. a, it's a. I'm imagining it's a horror movie, right? She does those types so, of like. It's got to be. I was thinking like a. What was that Adam Sandler uh, Hubie Halloween? I feel like it's bullshit like that. <laughs> that's gonna make like it's gonna be another one of those. So like. yeah. So it says uh, when a new spirit Halloween store appears in a deserted strip mall, as they all do. Uh, three middle school friends who think they've outgrown trick or treating make a dare to spend the night locked inside of the store on Halloween night, but they f- but they soon find out that the store is haunted by an angry evil spirit who has been possessed by the creepy animatronic characters. Uh, the kids embark on a thrilling and spooky adventure in order to survive the night and avoid becoming possessed themselves okay so, so one so one uh yeah, yeah, yeah. this this spirit halloween store that they're gonna put in this movie <laughs> is gonna be better than any spirit halloween store sure. you've ever exactly, seen exactly because i don't be think i've ever seen an animatronic at a fucking spirit halloween store nope no. it's uh, always half empty word <laughs> it's always and half two? empty and a bunch of shitty ass costumes like that's that's a weird that's a fucking premise. Like what kind of corny ass kids are fucking <laughs> daring each other to spend the night in a store Amen. on Halloween night? Like Bro, what a premise. This is this, this is, is like Stranger Things, Stranger Things plot. No, no, I fucking I fuck nah, with Stranger Things. Hell no, I don't <laughs> think so. Yeah, Stranger Things is dope. Um but I, I kind of align this with uh what's the the R.L. Stein Goosebumps? Oh Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Yeah. But not but not Goosebumps the, the maybe Goosebumps the TV show, but more so the uh the, Goosebumps the, the movie. movie. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was or is this uh, just a, a long Are You Afraid of the Dark episode? Maybe. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Bro, r- recently Dave sent me a So this will be a link. kids horror movie. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sure. uh, that'll be yes. fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll then. be fun. It'll be fun for them. I mean, I'm a probably. Well, maybe I will watch. It. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, my kids. Yeah, my kids will definitely Spirit Halloween. Come watch on. it. I'm bro. gonna watch it. I saw Goops Mumps. It was whatever. Yeah. Jack I put my Black? kids onto it. I put my kids onto yeah. Goosebumps. They enjoyed mm-hmm. it. During the month of Halloween, you'll watch yeah. any of that shit. Yeah, exactly. And just to get exactly. in the mood, you'll watch like any anything. Yeah, Halloween oriented. Who's going to watch yeah. fucking Hocus Pocus 2, right? The continuation of that shit. The first you. one was great. Second one. You and your kids. Yep. 
Exactly. <laughs> Disney Plus. It's going to show up on Disney Plus, and we're going to fucking watch it because it's Halloween. And then we're and then and then we'll be those older, you know, pushing forty folks that be like, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna watch the old one because you need yeah, to be yeah, introduced yeah. to that. <laughs> Because my kids are already, they, they've already been introduced. <laughs> I introduced them to all the old shit. I trust uh, you. You have to. You have to. And have I appreciate that to. about you. That's yes. what makes you a good father. Correct. Correct. Yeah, my kids did not the OGs, fall into. The OGs, the classics. You my know kids did up. not fall into the bullshit that was that new Home Alone remake. Mm-mm. No, no. My daughter saw Mm-mm. it and was like, oh, she the knew. old ones are better. Yeah, yeah, yeah the old knew. ones are better. Even she kids knew. know. They're like, this is trash. Why are they feeding <laughs> yeah. this bullshit to us? Yeah, she enjoyed I also it. like that you gave her the old ones before the new ones showed up. Like, it's not like oh, for sure. you saw the new one and then was like, then you know what? Back. You should watch these old ones. Nah, nah. You gave her the old ones early on because she knew. She She definitely knew. Uh, she enjoyed it, but she was like, "No, I gotta, I gotta watch. Uh, I like, I like the other ones better yeah. anyway." Um, Good head on her shoulders. Sure. <laughs> no, she, she, and she loves, she loves Hocus Pocus. She loves all of that shit. Good. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. My daughter, yeah. she loves all that shit. Um, what was I gonna say though? Um, oh, it was uh, Dave uh, recently sent me a clip with like all of the uh uh um, the scariest are you afraid of the dark episodes bro. Like one through ten yeah like just and you would think like i don't know what to think about this you know i probably your bro they were fucking some of them scary, were still bro. scary to yeah. this day dude Yo, they, they were, were, they, they they were, were eerie. creepy as fuck bro you remember i don't know if I, I told you guys about the nickelodeon doc that I watched on Hulu recently. I, I put it in like think the group chat and you were like, I think I got to fuck with that. Cause like they just went through like how they started in like the mid eighties, mm-hmm. you know, with, you can't Ooh. do that on TV. No, all I want to see through, that. You know where they are. Yep. And you know, one of the little segments they touched on was how are you afraid of the dark? Like changed, you know, sort of that kids horror landscape and how it was legit creepy. And like the dope thing about this documentary was they had a lot of these kids from like the midnight society and shit, like, you know, just reflecting on these roles and these episodes and the orange just, you know, years. Yeah. Yeah. Nickelodeon in general, like the, you know, the slime and all that, how that came into effect. And yeah. it was just, it was such an awesome nostalgic documentary that, I mean, anybody dope. listening to this probably would fuck with it if they fuck with us. Like it's in that same sort of realm, but when they touched on the, are you afraid of the darks, bro? Like, they hit some really scary ones that like touched a chord for me. I was like, yo, I remember watching that mm-hmm. Saturday night, Nick at fucking nine 30 when that shit would come on. And you're like, yo, this is scary, bro. Dave like, you, hit me you, up you and couldn't... he was like, bro, like how the fuck did they let us watch this yo, shit as a kid? <laughs> some of them were literally like, I wouldn't watch them by myself today. Like if I were home alone, like I'd be like the little nah, ghost just, boy, wait, like I'm so to, cold. Yeah, dude. There was like a pool I'm monster. So it was like a swamp thing and this high school pool that I remember coming <laughs> yeah. up, bro. They didn't fuck around. Like they went for the jugular on those yep. shows and these kids were shook and we were those kids. <laughs> that It was crazy. Fuck all that. Yeah, no, it was, it was bad. Um, the one I remember specifically was the clown uh, that would, like, mm. you would see the smoke coming out of places because mm. yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the one, the <laughs> one kid tried to play it and he took his, his nose, he took the clown nose off of the doll yeah. and then it followed him everywhere. Yeah. And then it was haunting. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were legit <laughs> Yo, scary. Those. And those are streaming somewhere. I forget where, but like I'm those sure. are all sure. streaming for, for As a free. As fact. For free somewhere. As I don't, a matter I don't of fact, remember where, though, but it was a big deal when they came out. Speaking about introducing my kids to the classics, we're going to stop yeah. all of this new age. Oh, let's not traumatize these kids. Uh, and we're going to throw a little bit of trauma. Yeah, we're yeah. going to throw a little trauma in there. Hit them up with some and of those that. Are, hey, yeah, because, uh, but I do understand, man. It's like my kid is doing that now, Xander. He, he falls asleep in his bed and he's just like, yo, I want you to like at least sit in here. Me just chill with me for a little bit. So I know I'm nothing's like, nah, gonna bro. murk me while I'm going to sleep. I'm like, yo, I feel I'm that. in the next room. Nothing's gonna happen to you. I can hear you. I can hear. Like if someone if comes you in, need just anything, scream you call very me. loudly. For and daddy. he's out. He's out within like five to ten minutes. Sure. So like right. whatever. But but if I start introducing that, I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll you probably might, you might fuck with him make that a little bit worse. <laughs> Y'all plan on smashing anytime in the future? Don't. Introduce them to yeah. that shit. <laughs> right. You show right. up in the middle of smashing. 
Right. Depends though, because like the clowns after me. I saw the smoke, daddy. But I do have friends. I ha- I have friends, and I have uh, my cousin who introduced their kids like super early into um, scary movies, and they're that that's just some shit that they watch normally. Like my my cousin, um, he, he growing up was uh, when I would sleep over his house. Mm. His mom introduced me to a lot of the Freddy Krueger, oh, yeah, yeah. the Jason, all of that shit. Now, his kids actually like at, you know, at extremely young age, uh, watch Child's Play for fun because they just they just love the movie. Um, they like dress up like Michael Myers on Halloween at a really young age. Like, you know, like it's mm-hmm. it really is like a thing where if you just bring them up around that. It would not uh, phase them at all. I also feel like, like your girl got to be a part of that as well, right? Like, does your girl like yeah. scary movies too? Because if, gotta if be she into it. throws like the negative energy around scary movies, uh, that uh, yeah, they're going to be, be like a, split. Like, uh, yeah. kind of scary, my girl is but... not down for it. My girl is not down for that shit. She's not. You introduce kids to anything early enough, and they'll be down with sure. that. Sure, that's like true. Ra- yeah. Racism. That's you're a fair. racist ass motherfucker, and you're yeah. like, it's you know, but like any, yeah, anything, they can be. Do not. They can be. Introduce they can, your kids do to racism. No, no, definitely not. But like, kids are very imprintable. If you can sort of expose them to that early and not make a big deal about it, like, oh my god, this is forbidden. Because like, that's how it was when I was a kid. Like, my mom forbade it, and my uncle at that point was just like, "Fuck this!" Like, watch Freddy Krueger if you want. And like, right. it was a spiteful it thing at same. that point. Like, yeah. if you can dispel that sort of, you know, I'll never forget, yo. <laughs> and it wasn't until I was way older in life that I realized. uh at how like ridiculous this statement was but i'll never forget i must have been like maybe 10 to 12 years old i was in florida and i was visiting family and and my cousin was like hey we're gonna go to the movies and i was like like going to the movies was not a a, a really approved thing in my household Mm -hmm. right like one like you know that was like where the devil played (laughs) <laughs> um, for my family right and so yeah. like uh but we did watch movies on the television right so uh there was like a weird dichotomy there where i was like you're not supposed to go to the theater but we do watch movies on tv so i, I was always kind of like why is it not okay anyways my cousin's like we're gonna go to the movies to watch a uh, uh we're gonna go to the theater to watch a movie I'm trying to remember what the movie was that we actually did go see but it doesn't matter because what I do remember is my father saying, it's okay, but just be careful because there was this movie that's, uh, that's out recently. Just don't go see this movie, he, sa- he tells my cousin. Uh, don't, uh, at the end of Indiana Jones, <laughs> like <laughs> the faces are melting right in the, in the movie. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's not something I want Johnny to see. Right. And again, I'm probably like somewhere between 10 and 12. And I was like, no, no, that's not the movie we're going to see. I knew it wasn't Indiana Jones. Um, and it was actually, now that I think about it, it wasn't like a great movie that we did end up go seeing. I think it was, um, one of those, uh, the uh, it doesn't matter. It was like a, 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 an apocalyptic movie um, with uh, I think maybe Arnold Schwarzenegger was in it. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, but um, uh, I, I remember uh, finally recognizing as uh, an older teenager or an adult that the movie he was referring to was fucking Raiders of the Lost Ark. Which came out in like 1983, and I'm like, <laughs> "What in the fuck was my dad talking about?" <laughs> like he was worried that I was gonna go see Raiders of the Raiders Lost, of the Lost Ark <laughs> in 1989 or 1992 or whatever. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, uh, there's always a point in our lives <laughs> when we just feel like. Yo, our parents are just bullshitting us on something. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Like, there's always something. It's just like, like, 
like having the car on while you're driving, how the, how it's illegal. The it's just like on? you, yeah, the yeah. Because yeah, the car, that's the interior yeah, light. Yeah, yeah, that, totally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like at some point, everybody's just like, "Yo, this is bullshit." Like, yeah. damn, my parents led me astray on this fucking weird ass <laughs> fucking thing. Like, why? Uh, yeah, that was the one. My parents, I, I we we told the story many many times, but my dad didn't give a shit. Like, movies was a thing where Word. it didn't really matter. Um, I was telling uh, oh, you had Dave a cool not dad. too long ago. Yeah, I was telling Dave not too long ago. I remember going with like a a, a, a college uh, student. It was me and my boy. We were in elementary at the time, and it was like a college student uh, was a part of this boys and girls club kind of thing through the school. And he took us to watch a movie, and we saw Demolition Man. That was, and that was one of one of. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't he knows, confirm. He's thinking, he knows. I can't but. confirm that that was the first time I saw titties, but <laughs> it was uh, it was definitely around that time where I was just like, "Oh, we definitely just saw a titty," and we looked at the dude, and the dude was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> 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 and you know what time? You know what part of the movie that was? A oh, split yeah. second of titties. Split bro. second split where the second. girl where video call was a thing, and the girl was just like, "Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> wrong number," and she was butt ass naked mm-hmm. coming out of the shower. And he was like, what? We were both like, what? (laughs) It was a great time. It was a great time. Good time. So, yeah. So my parents weren't exactly against uh, the theater. However, I did get in trouble because my father said, you should not be going to the movies with this guy from (laughs) fucking college. And my mom said, go right ahead. And that's where I learned, listen to dad, not to mom, because I got in some I, I I think he he spanked me for that one, but because you saw titties, not because I saw titties, because I went to the movies with a fucking <laughs> grown ass person that uh, was a fucking complete stranger. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's bad. So you know, why did yeah. you get in trouble <laughs> now? Right? Why did I get in trouble? Because yeah. uh, they came and picked me up. They came to pick me up, and my mom was like, "Yeah, here, here's my child." Your and mom should have gotten in trouble. And then when they dropped me off, right. the, the dude knocked <laughs> on the door and was like, hey, here is your son. And my dad answered the door. He's like, oh, yeah, thank you. And then uh, and then I got in trouble for it. The guy was like, oh, I, by the way, he saw titties. And he just like I pushed fucking you in the told house you, the I fucking told you do not go with this stranger. Which uh, now I think back. I think back and I'm like, I would never fucking let my son just Hell randomly no. go to a theater with some fucking random well, stranger. Well, he's not nowadays. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, it's a completely different time. I don't even let my fucking child play outside without me supervising them. So that's whatever. Fair. fair. Yeah, right. Don't even get snatched up. I that's mean, that's, yeah, you, that's that a good tracks. thing, buddy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good, a good thing. thing. You wouldn't you wouldn't imagine by the fucking random ass kids that are jumping around my neighborhood right now. Mm. But anyway, snatch them um, up, teach them a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them in your basement for a minute, though. They'll learn. They'll learn. <laughs> nah, don't bro, you tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, someone's in this neighborhood snatching kids up. Ain't nobody going to be outside past five o'clock. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we're just going to move on from that one. <laughs> you, you let them go. You let them go back home after a while after they learn their motherfucking lesson. Yeah, right, gonna, right, right. Now they're going to mm-hmm. go home and snitch like, on yo, you. Like, yo, I could have kept you here like, forever. Yo. You would never see your mommy and daddy again. Like, oh, shit. That is. <laughs> yeah, and when and the cops go, come go, up to. Go. Right, and now they learn that lesson, you. dog. They're not fucking around anymore for the rest of their lives. They're so shook. When the cops come up to my. <laughs> yo, that could be a dorm, business, like, bro. You could start a business <laughs> just snatching kids. Facts. Snatch your kid up. Oh Teaching my lessons. Five bucks. <laughs> <sighs> Bro. Pay more than them IGN articles. <laughs> Yo, that's a business right there. Yo, all right. So we're not we're not gonna name a name, right? And I know you're gonna realize it at some point, but I don't want you to say the name. And we, <laughs> I don't know if I probably told this story on the pod before, but I'm gonna tell it anyway, right? So we have a so we have a a, a, a mutual friend, right? Who was outside of his uh uh his his then girlfriend's apartment one time waiting for her to come out, right? This friend has no fucking concept of just like whatever the fuck it is around him. So he's outside of this apartment, 
right? And uh, and he decides that, yo, I'm I'm in my car. I'm just waiting for my girl. I'm going to scratch my balls. So he scratches his balls, right? Um, he notices after this incident that everyone's kind of just like going inside. There's like this alarm going off and he's just like, whatever. Like, what the fuck? This is very weird. It goes on. His girlfriend comes down, gets in the car and goes, yo, yo, we got to get the fuck out of here. It says that somebody is, uh, there's, there's a predator out here <laughs> who's playing, who's playing, <laughs> yo, who's playing with himself <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> around the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, is a, this is a true story this is a true story um, and then he takes off and realizes that it was because he decided he was like and as he's telling me the story he's like yo I was wondering why the Spanish lady passed by the car and was just like you know in Spanish like yo you know like get the fuck out of here and I'm like what the fuck is wrong with you like you get the fuck out of here fuck you <laughs> <laughs> uh, because he was doing this in front of a, a of a uh, you know little playground. You got to be careful was in front oh, of the building that, that he was picking up his girl with. Hilarious! I have yes. no idea who you are talking about. I don't I've either. Never heard this I story. Don't but it's somebody all three will, of us know. I will tell you. Yes, okay. I will tell I you. I can't wait to hear uh, Once we record, it once was, we stop recording. I hope it wasn't a prior guest. <laughs> I will tell you once we stop recording. <laughs> oh shit, I think I know who it is. <laughs> so moving on. <laughs> oh shit. Oh good. Good times. Wow. Um all right, so <laughs> <laughs> all right, so more Hollywood. Hollywood. More Hollywood. 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 Um, all right, so <laughs> uh, surprise, surprise, right? So what we got. Oh, shit, I can't stop crying. I know. Uh, so Sam Raimi, who we know now is uh, directing Multiverse of Madness. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, with all of the success around Spider Man No Way Home, mm -hmm. he's saying that he is uh, he's game to. Making another Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire. What do you oh. say? What do you say, right? <laughs> it's more blockbusters <laughs> that he would want to be a part of. Um, Who wouldn't? Shocker. Shocker. <laughs> uh, I honestly, I, I love the idea of, and and I and this was just like a fan thing uh, that was thrown out there a while back, but I love the idea of it being now a Tobey Maguire uh, movie of him older but prior to that, like he's a bitter older, mm. uh, yeah, kind of yeah. like kind of how how Peter B. Parker was in, yeah, yeah. into the Spider Verse, mm -hmm. which we know now that that was the actual true Spider Man, um, you know, from that universe or or whatever from the multiverse in that yeah. movie, um, where he's he's bitter, he's you know older, and he's uh, like I would like they, they're saying like more of a Logan esque. Okay. Um, kind mm -hmm. of. I like the mm -hmm. Logan. Uh, yeah, older Tobey Maguire movie, which would be dope. But uh, No Way Home, the way that he did that, I don't think it would be very Logan esque because he was much was nicer of, and you yeah. Know, yeah, yeah, he was kind yeah. of youth pastory. Like, yeah, they said. he wasn't jaded at well, all. Well, well, he was. But prior to that, he did. He 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 alluded to the fact that he was. Uh, he definitely went down that road and where he was True, yeah, and, yeah, and a yeah. lot of shit. So, so something like in that, in that realm would be dope where, mm -hmm. where he kind of discovers and it would be a one-off movie. I think that that would be dope, but anything other than that, we don't have to, we don't yeah. have to go that route. Yeah. Like a rogue Spider-Man where you don't know like right. where his allegiances lie. Like, is he pissed? Is he, you know, right. Like, I get it. Yeah. That's yeah, dope. Yeah. I fuck with that. It's just been years and it's, and now he's jaded, yeah, jaded yeah. Yeah. as fuck. And he's um, still got that power. Like he was pulling yeah. his punches and then he stopped pulling his punches and he could really fuck some dudes up. Yep. Nope. That I would be, be cool. Yeah, no. uh, but that was the only way that that'd be the only way that I, I feel like you should bring back Toby Maguire and mm -hmm. that, that Spider-Man. I honestly, I would wait until they mm -hmm. kill Spider-Man in the MCU. Mm hmm. And come back with that. Like yeah, once, maybe. like 
I mean, if they kill Spider Man in the MCU, but I assume that like uh, at some point he has to stop. The, yeah, that that this dude is not going to play Spider Man forever, right? He's I'm down to like, though. He said he's he down said to. he is, but he says we that now. Know. <laughs> you right, know, right. we all know. Um, we all know. And uh, or retire him or whatever they decide to do when they move on from sure uh, Spider Man as a character in the MCU. And at sure. that point. I I would appreciate that. Yeah, I, I would see. Uh, but like right now, I feel like it would be confusing to the average. Obviously, we would understand that this is the Sony verse version of Spider Man, not the MCU version of Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, but I think for the average person, people would be like, "What the fuck? They're making another Spider Man movie, but they're doing it. Yeah. It is so weird. Yeah. What is it doing?" I think it would not only that, a lot of viewers, yeah. Yeah. Not only that, but he's riding on the coattails of the success of the MCU and this type of movie Absolutely, would be Sony yeah. and that shit would suck. Yeah. Like absolutely. More than likely it would like suck. Like Morbius all over again. It would just if, Yeah, <laughs> depending on the writers that they chose. Right. Yeah. It could very well be it Morbius. It could very well yes. suck. A hundred percent. So and and it's a toss up because I'm not saying every movie that, that Sony makes is horrible. Just the comic but book ones. All those yeah, Spider-Verse comic- <laughs> ones are good. No, but this, yeah, the Spider-Verse ones are dope. The first, um, like the first amazing Spider-Man was, was really good. Even the well, second one wasn't, wasn't bad, but the first one was good. Mm-hmm. We um, only know the one Spider-Verse movie. We still haven't. Oh, seen into the, the second one. Yeah. Um, I still, I still believe that that one's going to fuck. It probably will so far based yeah. on the trailer, but it, I mean, it's been delayed twice now, right? When is it coming out? Um, is it this year? I mean, I've seen. I've yeah, they they dropped the trailer for it. Um, but it, it, I don't know why they delayed it. D- delayed. The it? first one was delayed into the Spider Verse. <laughs> <laughs> That's not dilated. Why they dilated um, it? The first one was into the Spider Verse and the across the Spider Verse. Across the Spider Verse. There we go. Part one because it's a part two part. Damn, it's a two parter. October drops in October. Okay. Okay. That's Halloween. A, it's fine, but I feel like it, <laughs> that should be a summer movie. I don't know why it's coming out so late. It's still gonna fuck. I think. I'm sure mm-hmm. it will. I'm sure. I, I like I said, that team has been good so far. So hopefully, and the and the main director's name is Joaquin. Oh, he's gonna fuck. Oh, he's gonna of course. Crush it. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. El Chapo. Uh, who directed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, go fuck yourself, David. <laughs> oh, is that my, Ooh, that's my, David. my first David in 110 <laughs> episodes, bro? I got him. I got him. Let's call it. All right. Um, outro. We done. I will say, I will throw in there that. What was the that, drop? You like press the fucking wood. <laughs> no, know, there was yeah. no, there was nothing. It was just what I was fake dropping. I was going to say that I, I will throw in there that there are three completely different directors. Um, of writers what, of what movie? Of uh, uh, across spider the spider verse from uh, into the spider verse, uh, but the but the writer, yep, Phil Lord, Christopher Miller, and Dave uh, Cullaham wrote the first one, and oh no no no, sorry sorry the other way, Phil Lord uh, wrote the original, and Rodney Rotham wrote the original into the spider verse. Across the Spider Verse brought back Phil Lord, but has two other co writers. Mm. Okay, so I Group mean, effort. it could it could go any route there. Based I guess. on uh, whether they're ampersands or ands, will determine how uh, impactful they are to the story. Mm. It's not. It doesn't show either way. It doesn't. It it's just, just lists the names. It doesn't have ampersand. Yeah, it, it will yeah. say on yeah. IMDb. I don't think we'll see until we see and them on the till the credits. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Yep. Because sometimes they list the original person and then it goes right. story inspired by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I can't remember bullshit. which one is like the the good one and which is the bad one. I feel like A and D is the bad one, um, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'm not sure. One of them means you wrote it together, and one mm. of them means you were added afterwards. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I'd have to say the and. 
I think the, the out and yeah, I think the, the, the word spelled out, yeah, and is is added after, and the ampersand is together. It's like we wrote it together. Yeah. Okay. But I can't. I, I can't right. recall. I'm gonna have to look into that. That's yeah. intriguing. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Um, but yeah, we'll look into that. Um, all right. So we'll we'll get into a, a few other quick things uh, so that we can uh, wrap up the show. Um, but, uh, I guess Casper, the friendly ghost, the live action series. Remember the, the, um, Christina Ricci That's right. movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, they're coming out with a live action series on Peacock. So is it with who knows? Christina Ricci and it is Devin not. Sawa? I, I doubt, is Devin I doubt Sawa it. in it? Well, then I, I, I want no part of it. If Devin Sawa isn't there. Who is Devin Sawa? He's the original Casper. Oh, that's true. Ah. Oh, the when when he was uh, the, the the he was a boy and he was the ghost. Yes, he was both. Of, sorry for the spoilers, oh, you guys. Mean r- at the end, at the very <laughs> yes. end, for like five minutes when he danced with her. That's, that's why like, it was a spoiler, dog. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck. That movie came out like Christina Ricci was a child. Well, I'm going to say I don't see it on his IMDb. So, no. Uh, so, yeah, that's not, fuck. That's not happening. No. Um, He's too busy. Right. Too many projects going um, on, I'm sure. So, <laughs> this, I just found, <laughs> this I just found funny. I think it was last week that we discussed how Jim Carrey is uh, considering quitting mm-hmm. acting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, he was like, so someone asked him, like, would you do uh, Ace Ventura 3? He said, absolutely. I would consider doing... Uh, Ace Ventura 3, if it was directed by Chris Nolan and Chris Nolan came up to me uh, <laughs> on uh, on a more uh, realistic take on this character, I'd be absolutely down to that. So, so pretty he's much not down saying, to do it at yeah, all. Yeah, pretty much saying, saying no. like, no, okay. I'm not going to do that. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, gotcha. yeah. Yeah, if Tarantino came on and was like, yeah, I, I think yeah, I'm exactly. with Ace Ventura 3, I think <laughs> yeah. we can do this, yeah. Yeah, he said, uh, he said, and I quote, if if Chris Nolan came to me and said, I want to make Ace Ventura real and I want to do something, you know, something more interesting, then yeah, I I definitely consider something it. more Which interesting than his anyone regular would consider career. if uh, if so basically uh, Chris I'm Nolan done came up being a comedian. Him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, we said it like he's I mean, he's been very vocal about uh, yeah. Hollywood in general and how. He's just not down for a lot of that shit. Yeah. And we've been very vo- non-vocal about not caring. Like, yeah. okay, have a good time. <laughs> like, you got your money. Do what you got to do, buddy. Yeah, like, yeah. No one's clamoring he, for Jim Carrey movies. But he hasn't been making any kind of movie for adults, That's really. why He's nobody cares. <laughs> that's exactly why been nobody cares. Stuff. Yeah. Do you? But I don't, I don't, I don't that think breath? that that's, uh, I, I, well, on, uh, well, that latest um, Dumb and Dumber was horrible. Yeah. Money yeah, grab, very horrible. Money grab, money grab. And yeah. I, it's, it's I think he's clearly nah, but Sonic, I, uh, Sonic. I think he was also made hurt by it. I think he recognizes very much how bad of a move that was, and was like, "I'm done doing this bullshit." Yeah, yeah. And speaking of that, like Sonic, uh, the Hedgehog two just came out over the weekend, and it grossed like the most money. It was like it's huge. Uh, Gross like a hundred and something, uh, like a hundred and forty million dollars something. Or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Over the past weekend, one forty one worldwide. One forty one. There we go. Uh, worldwide. So that's nothing to fucking you know. Yeah. To, that's kind of shocking, yeah, honestly. Yeah. For that, now, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for these times, it kind of makes yeah. me feel like is is everything is the in, is the movie industry back to normal that they're letting a Sonic well, the first two, one. Like, it's not even the first Sonic. Sonic 2 is doing big numbers on opening weekend. I'm um, not going to lie. I mean, um, you I saw it on, like, a Thursday, which is, like, <laughs> I can't even believe a. they had, like, an early showing? opening. Like, totally <laughs> makes sense was- why you saw it. You brought your son to see it. makes totally sense. But yeah, the fact that you saw fan. it on a Thursday, like... That's like an early opening release. Bro, yeah. You were one of the first people Bro. to see Sonic and 2. I bought, and I the bought world. the tickets. I bought the tickets on Wednesday. No, 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 no. You, you laugh if you want, right? But I bought the tickets. I bought the tickets on Wednesday. And um and and I bought the tickets on Wednesday and it was uh damn near sold out. 
I believe it. Like I told my girl, like the only seats that we had were like not front front row, but that front Ooh. that front row where the handicap um, seats are. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No, I my 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 kid, he's a, he's five, so he's just like he's always wanted to sit in the front, and I I always like no, we're gonna go to the back. Yeah. <laughs> um. So it wasn't to the point where I'm like looking up to watch it, <laughs> but it was like eye level, and he loved it. He completely loved it. Other than that, in the back there were. Damn near no seats, full house. He, yeah, it it was, ev- and I didn't expect that. I thought I thought like there, you know, probably a good amount of people, but not a packed house. Tangent. And it was definitely full house. Tangent. Have y'all ever sat in the front front row of a theater? I have. Yes. Uh, I had, I had within to. the within the like yeah f- like first three. Not the front front row, like that first the first the very row of first seats. row. Yeah. I've sat in the first first. I've row. sat in the nah. first row. I can't remember. I mean, what Jurassic, movie it was Jurassic Park. Park. Maybe Jurassic I Park. I don't. I just can't mm-hmm. remember it. Yep. I definitely remember sitting in the front front row and like trying to lay down to watch this, <laughs> <laughs> like just being so fucking laid back. <laughs> And looking upwards. Yeah, <laughs> at the, I, I think you. I've done nah. it more than once. I remember doing it once at Webster and definitely once at the, at least once at the Dollar Theater. This was before <laughs> you could purchase your right. Yeah, receipts. way, you but yeah, I was like, just whatever was teenager, available when I'm you sure. walked yeah. in. Oh, yeah. That's, that's why the movies, really that's why the movies gave me anxiety to begin with. Because yeah. I didn't like, I didn't like having to worry about my seat and shit. And then once I realized that I could buy a seat that nobody could fucking take. And like, it was mine regardless. Like that's when I started opening up to the movies more like, Oh, okay. When did what that, is that start? terrible? I think with Tinseltown or not, no, not even with Tinseltown. Cause Tinseltown was just like the stadium style seating in right. this area. It was for me, it was, was Webster. I mean the 2010s, I would say is yeah. when I realized that like, this was, I think so the norm at that point. Cause you could get a, uh, an IMAX ticket before with Tinseltown. You just had, a, you just had and, to get a and dope you seat. Still right? had to like rush in to get a dope seat, mm-hmm, and then yeah. people would like fucking get there early, and then they would walk, and they would stop in the middle, and you're like, motherfucker, now I gotta go behind you or past yep. you. Yep, yep. That's I think that's where my anxiety started. You guys know I, I believe it. Yeah. I feel like that was from being a kid and going to the movies and trying to find a seat, bro. <laughs> that's, like, where, just, that's where my yo, wild. That's where my <laughs> I have to get there. I have to get there earlier, not on mm-hmm. time. Cause my girl was like, my girl is like that till this day. I like, it's me and my son on the day that we're going to go watch this movie. Let's say it's at, um, six, six forty five or something. No, it was like five fifty. whatever. Five fifty. Sure. Let's say it's five fifty. Five o'clock rolls around. When she said, uh, she asked my son, he gets home around four o'clock. She asked him, yo, what do you want for dinner before you go to the movies? He says, hot dog. We don't have any. She's like, okay, I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy some. Like, Bitch, we don't got time no, to no, go no, to the no, store. No, 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 no. It's not even that. No. <laughs> okay. Four o'clock. Four yeah. o'clock. Cool. She doesn't leave the house until about 4.30, 4.45. Oh. Pushing She's just it. chilling like on her phone and like doing mm. all these other things. And I'm not trying to be that dude and be like, yo, are you going to go grab his stuff like, like what are, what we're are getting we a happy meal on the way to the movie dog like we got to get going <laughs> what are we doing at that here? point I'm, I'm getting nervous so she goes she leaves she ends up leaving she comes uh, or not not even 510 rolls around <laughs> right Whoa. the movie starts at 550 Whoa. previews are starting in like 10 minutes <laughs> yeah right no but i'm saying we live in greece the theater is out there he still wants popcorn he still wants all of that stuff mm-hmm. that's a lie i call her I call her and I'm like, yo, where are you? Cause she's like, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm paying for my stuff right now. I'm paying for, I have to call you back. I'm like, all right. So uh, we're, and, and then she calls me back from the car when she finally does that. And I'm like, we're leaving. <laughs> like we're, she's like, but the, you, you said the movie doesn't start till five fifty. Yeah. We're leaving right now. <laughs> like, yeah. like that's when like, the right. film starts. Is at five fifty. That's not when you're right. supposed to be in your no, seat. No, I mean that's <laughs> when the that's when the trailers and everything. You know the trailers, and it did take a good like. There, there are more trailers nowadays. I want to yeah, say, that's yeah, true. but it was that's like true. 15, 10, 6, 10, That movie but, starting. But even then, like I left at the time when when I said I was, 
We went, we got popcorn. I got him his hot dog at the theater. We did everything that we had to do, and we were in the seat at 445. 545? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 545. About Damn, to say 445. Yeah, y'all were, y'all were ready. ready five. <laughs> 545. That's a lot of trivia. Right? <laughs> right. No, and then we, we watch all the trailers and stuff. But I'm just like, yo, like, I'm trying. Like, if, and if it were those days where you could, where you did not have your seat, you were fucked. Oh, my fucked. God. Hell yeah. You'd yeah, be fucked. fucked. You, you were fucked. Yeah. You had to sit wherever the fuck was open. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> right. Yeah. I and my it. girl still lives. My girl still goes by the. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't the, start the, till the five fifty. It's five o'clock. So, <laughs> so and, I, and I should be pulling up at home in about ten fifteen minutes. So and I'm to make him his dinner so that he can eat before we go. Right. Like no, nah, no, nah, that's, no, no, too, no, much. No. that's <laughs> too much. That's too much. You doing? You doing no, no, too no, no, much no, no. right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's it's, where I was. It's five forty. The movie doesn't start till five forty five. We have plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. Let's cook right. this hot You're gonna dog get left behind by like that last dude that left his wife in the Yeah, that's what store. I was thinking of, bro. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking of. Like, yo, yo, you're checking out right now? Okay, cool. We're about to grab our popcorn and sit down and watch this movie. <laughs> awesome. All right, so two uh, two uh, small castings. So Disney Plus, we, we talked a, a while back that uh, Percy Jackson is going to um is going to be a series now on on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. Um so the Percy Jackson the lead role in this it has actually been giving to that kid from the Adam Project. Oh, I like that kid. I like that kid yeah, too. Good yeah. for him. If you've seen the Adam Project, he yo, cool. he played a good kid version of Ryan Reynolds. I he thought did, he was dope. Yeah. So this uh this to me seems like it's a it's a good casting for that. So Which side um, note? And I liked I saw Adam Project finally. Totally understand why you cried when you saw it. Yeah, buddy, yes. you got yes. it. You got it. I get it. Yes. Yeah. Um, and and so I understand. I I did like the Percy Jackson movie. Uh, the yeah. original, yeah, the the other ones too. were yep. just like mm-hmm. whatever, but yeah. whatever. Yep. Um, but I thought that those good, were good, yeah. and I thought that was really yeah. good. So, um, and then very last, uh, probably least. <laughs> uh, Brie Larson has joined the cast of uh, Fast and Furious 10. Uh, her and Vin Diesel, um, they teased it on Vin Diesel's page. So whatever. But. Just fucking stop. Stop with these goddamn It's movies. the last one. It is the last one. It is the last one. He was mm. trying to get The Rock to join in on this one, last one. And the Rock was like, nah, don't. No, but I, apparently since then we've gotten like Jason Momoa has jumped on. Now Brie Larson. So... Uh, they're going out with a go, bang. Go out big. How bigger can you go than space? Like, where? Yeah, right. I wouldn't I know. know. Because We're going I to Pluto. Mars. Be on Pluto. Pluto. No. They're going to Mars. Farthest fucking planet. Pluto. In fucking okay. Pluto. Yeah. They're as far as they can. Aliens. Take it, just straight up aliens <laughs> just, will be coming down and driving race cars. The aliens from Aliens with the fucking heads and shit. Like, the action, it's going to be a dope crossover. That's yeah. the only thing to save this fucking movie is if they I bring mean, in Aliens. as long as they come out with the overall. Oh, they could do a crossover with Men in Black. Story on that. That's true, too. Save Will Torn? Smith's career. <laughs> Rip is, Rip, Torn. is Rip Torn still alive? <laughs> Did I fuck <laughs> That's a good call. I, I don't like know. If they can get he ripped is, torn yeah. in this he last is okay, years wow. old. So, my man, if they can get fucking what was his name? Zed? He was Z? Yeah. yeah. If they can get him up in this fucking yeah, Fast Zed. and Furious movie, I will fuck with it. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> Hard. Family. <laughs> <laughs> Family. <laughs> Dodge his old hula hand. <laughs> yeah. duck, duck, dip, dodge, and duck and die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck he said? That was the wrong order, but fucking rip torn, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, yeah, uh, not not on this list. And I know we're probably uh, at that time where we probably should cut off. <laughs> but I just wanted to say. We always got time for rip torn, baby. No, 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 no. I just wanted to say that uh, that. I cannot fucking wait for the next season of Severance. And I oh, want to drop yes. it on there. <laughs> I cannot fucking wait, bro. And so after we finish the finale, and there's no spoilers here. This is spoiler free. Obviously, you, you hadn't watched it yet. Mm-hmm. So I texted Johnny. And, you know, we were sort of going a little just bullshitting back and forth about the finale, what we liked, what was dope. And I was like, yo, this could be like top three shows of like 2022. And it's only, you know, April. Yeah. And the more I think about it, bro, the more I read about it, like 
of the 2020s. Like that could be one of the dopest shows that we're going to see. So fucking good. So man. fucking good, dude. And such as Johnny said, like, you know, we were all sleeping on it. People are sleeping on Huge Apple TV sleeper. plus dude. Yeah. And it, it's just, you know, and even Stephen King, I don't know if you guys saw that tweet where Stephen King was given props to severance, like, holy shit, this is fucking amazing. Like, just going off and all the people oh, in severance, yeah, all I the people in severance were, like, retweeting it and commenting back, you know, like, thanks to your inspiration and, like, giving him his props. Like, so when Stephen King signs on to something and is like, yo, this is yeah. fucking fire. Yeah. It's fucking fire, dude. And no, like, it's so, I, it's I so am, good. I, I, the only reason I haven't been screaming it from the mountaintops and, like, telling people – you should watch this is because uh, people just aren't into shows the way that we are. You know what I mean? Like certain people aren't into shit like that where they would appreciate something like that. Mm. And especially being a slow burn. But I did tell my girl, I was like, yo, babe, I was like, I understand we saw the first episode and uh, I can't remember where she left off. Maybe the second of them. I was like, yo, I know that it was a smaller, uh, like it was a slow burn but I feel like you should continue watching this show because it ends up being something special, something great, special. Yeah, something great. It's special, so bro. If you get through those Only. first three episodes and continue it, like the just the the mystique, the mystery, the mystery of what is going on what starts the fuck to is seep into your yeah. yeah. What the fuck this is, is happening? This this peaked past Watchmen for me, and you guys know how I wow. with Watchmen. Bro. Oh fuck! Like I put Severance above Watchmen, not only because they're giving <sighs> us a rough. second season, yeah, yeah, but I know rough. I know they're gonna give us a second season, and it's still gonna no, fuck. I, which Watchmen could have done if they so yeah, 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 so yeah. chose to. But they decided not to, and that's cool. That's on them. I've come to peace with that. But like, <laughs> severance is <laughs> severance is special, it's, and like it's, it's so gonna good. come back. It's gonna kill again. Great like, actors, yes. great writers, directors, directors. Everything. Ben Stiller is the main director on that. I mean, um, executive producer, executive I producer. It was. I just can't talk it up enough. No. Uh, after watching the the finale, and I'm just upset that I have to wait an entire year for season two. I haven't seen TV like that in a long it's time. It's been a while. It's been a long, long time. It's been a while. <laughs> ah, good. So on so, that, on that note, does anyone have anything to add to this stellar, stellar conversation? Nah, go watch Severance. Go watch Severance. Get that insensitive merch, insensitivemerch.com. You know what it is. You know what time it is. Thank you for making it this far. If you've made it to this point, that means you are a diehard fan and you fuck with us, so we fuck with you. So remember, if you've made it this far, then you should have no excuse as to why you did not leave a review for Insensitive Culture. Uh, remember to rate us five stars. Leave that. If we love your, uh, your review, we will absolutely put that on a shirt and send it to you as a gift because it was just that Word. special uh also if you watch this on youtube hit that subscribe button that like button right there um have your friends uh and family uh rate, you know rate subscribe review to that. and subscribe in that bitch that's all, all over the place so, yeah and uh if you want to rep us out in the streets and cop some dope ass merch which we just dropped a couple pieces. We did we just did drop the, a couple. That blockbuster joint. The, uh, the joint. blockbuster joint. The old school video store joint. And the, and the Virgin the, Pornhub joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Virgin Hub. All right. Uh, shout out to the hater uh, who who inspired that shirt. Calling the virgins for that. Good luck. And um, yeah, so so if you want to do that, insensitivemerch.com. Stay drippy with drippy. Also, uh, just because we, we, we fuck with Rocco hard. Uh, we love the guy. So I will always shout out. You should Critical check Mass. out Critical Mass Podcast. If you, Mass. Like, if you like some nerd shit mixed with some political shit, that is your safe haven there. All right. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. 110 episodes. We couldn't have done it without you. Peace. Peace. Peace.